So, D&Ds, uh, last session, you guys uh, took out some cultists who were in the middle of summoning a demon. You're welcome, um, Yes, thank you. You guys managed to handle that easily enough. I think Ulfgar actually went down, which is unusual, but it happens every now and then. Yeah, I did. It's okay, performance issues, one in ten. You were a chad, man. Not uncommon. He tanked it. He did, it. Exactly he did, it. He did his job. He did his job. Uh, and then you guys returned to um, the headquarters of the Order of the Golden Lion, meeting with Sir Ryland, the Leonin uh, leader, who knighted Sir Tristan Waters, as he is now formally known. Yeah, boy. Uh, as an official <laughs> member of the Order of the Golden Lion. That's me, uh, anointed knight. Thank you very much. To be clear, you did this all in one day. You teleported there in the morning, uh, checked out the city, took out some cultists, got knighted, and it's now... Uh, it's past it's past dinner time, to say the least. Wow, we did so... that We did that all in one day? We've had such a busy weekend. Damn. I was going to ask... You know what, mate? We, that's why we, they call us the Blades of Dress, because we get shit done. Efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they actually call us the Blades of Dress because it's the names of our members. Of the <laughs> you don't know that. You've just oh, joined. Right, sorry, who you are don't you? tell me. Oh, you yeah, don't that's true. I don't know that, actually. Yeah, yeah, you don't know that. Dress. That is some yeah. deep dive law. Jesus. I was going to say, how Fucking long newbies. have we actually been doing this for? Like, in the terms of, in the time of D&D. It must have been like three months. Uh, it's more than that. I, I can get the calendar. So, you started on the 15th of April, the actual start date. And it is now, uh, October the 25th. Wow. <laughs> six months. Okay. So, in so, six so months. Like, we've been busy. Game. We've been busy. We've been shit done. Yeah, in-game, you've only known each other for about six months. Just don't. Yeah. <laughs> No, but in game, guys, like, not being funny, I love, like, helping people out. I get a sense of fulfillment. I'm not meaning. with you guys, I've gone home. Yeah, yeah you have. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, I need something to, like, you know, keep me here. I haven't, I haven't got any money. I'm, like, broke. <laughs> I've got, like, no money left. And I keep, like, How much money have you got? nearly dying. Oh, like, a thousand gold. Well, <laughs> I've got even less than that. Reed, can you not like play some music and then like busk or something? Get some, get some, get, get, like get, get some concerts. To, that's like separate to the Blades of Dress. Like, I'm not being funny. I think we should be charging people for our service. Like, look, we do a pretty good job, but like, we just don't. I mean, you guys from don't it. charge for our services. Well, we do, but we've been well, it depends on the depends on the service. Like we need some money, guys. We usually get like... paid in things that aren't like money. We get paid in like tr like Tristan got knighted. That's payment, but not money. But, but we didn't get paid for that. He yeah, got no, knighted. we didn't. Are we yeah. are we are we are we mutinying here? Are we cooing? No, I'm not saying a coup. I'm just saying we should like formalize some way of like invoicing people because like we're just like. What, what I do think we, we do should go this? back. We should go back to those like paladin people thing, and then just charge them a bunch of money. I love helping people, guys, but we're we're gonna need some cash. I want some. I need some like a pension after all. Like, yeah, like all I'm saying is it. like, what, weren't the paladins talking about opening like a whole new fucking thing in Waterdeep? They they've got money. They could probably pay us. Tristan. Mm. I'm not there. Tristan's not there. He's yeah. Oh, he's so, gone home. Fuck. So yeah, Tristan's gone to his house. You guys are going back to the tavern that you uh, went to earlier today. How long is Tristan going home for? The like the. That the evening he's gonna stay stay the night, so I guess you could you'll regroup in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> we'll 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 set up an invoice and we'll show it to him. I mean, it's not just like this particular case. It's like in every case, we need to we need to find a way of making just money. You know? well, what, what, what? I mean, I bet. I, I mean, I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. Yeah. It's not a very like considering we're a mercenary company. It's like we don't have the the greatest business model. We just help people. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make, monetize it as well, you know. I love helping people, but I need some. Yeah. I'm, I'm broke. You got a thousand gold. I mean, I'm much, I'm much more broke than you. I've got. Like is there, a, is gold. there a, like a, a quest or a, an adventure thing that's like that we've kind of forgot about that maybe leads to a lot of treasure? What about the one that's in the 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 thing underneath that tavern in the middle of Wardeep? Like oh the... no. <laughs> You've already been like Mason, you've, but you've, like already, it. you've already been down there. <laughs> oh, no. We need to be collecting everything, though. I mean, there's infinite amounts of. What's this stuff thing you guys are there. talking about? There's there's infinite amount of gold as well. Also, That's an infinite amount of dangers that could murder you. 
Do you like well, it? I've got 64 gold, so... It's not a lot of... <laughs> Mate, you've just joined. You'll get, the, you, you get the cash, but we need to figure out how to get it, you know? Okay, this... All I'm going to say, this is maybe not the most moral one, and I know we're all trying to stay morally good, because, you know, we're Blades of Dress. But we could find... We could potentially find, maybe, a very, very, very corrupt rich person... You know, so we don't feel bad about taking their money and then use the rod of rulership and then tell them to give us some money. Or we just kidnap their family as hostages. But that, that's like effort. We can literally just get the rod of rulership be like, give me some fucking money and they'll just give us the fucking money. Reed, don't yeah, you have yeah. mod modify memory? So you can yeah, modify like... memory. I can do that. Yeah, you promised to Who give did... me like all your money and then they'll be like, oh yeah. <laughs> You're a genius. We're gonna okay. Next time in what do we're gonna find some bad people. Let's find some out. bad boys and let's steal their money. That sounds like steal a good dude, idea. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? I said that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's foolproof. Trust me. It will work. I'm, I'm that... for it. Why don't we try it out here? Um, I don't know who's bad here. We can ask Tristan. He knows all the bad ones. Where are we right now, by the way, DM? Uh, you guys are just uh, walking down the streets. Oh, okay. It's uh, about sunset. Um, are there any bad people around? Make a perception check. <laughs> I think we should make an international bank and then introduce a pyramid scheme. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be any bad people from your oh, from where you're cur bad. currently looking. No, no one sticks out as bad. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. Who knows what lies in the hearts of mortals? <laughs> How about we set up a sweatshop and oh, head no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isn't there, isn't there some, some land we can transport cheap labor from and bring them to work for us for free? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> your your farm is just a a front for, <laughs> beneath beneath the farm lies the real <laughs> <clears throat> uh, but yeah, you guys eventually return to Frontiers Unicorn, the uh, the inn that you're staying at. Um, by this time in the day, it's far more crowded than it was earlier on, with people laughing and eating and drinking, and uh, there even seems to be quite a quite a crowd as as gathered in one of the areas with sort of cheers going up every now and then. Ooh, can well, we approach this? this? Yeah, as you uh, as you approach, uh, you see two groups of people that seem to be having a game of darts. Um, one bearing, they both seem to be like two, two different groups of soldiers. Uh, one is bearing the flaming fist of the guards of Baldur's Gate, while the others bear the sun and horse of the Hell, Hell Riders, which I can actually reveal to you here on the altar arm. Boom. That's what the, the two little symbols look like on their, on their, their coat of arms, on their, their chest. I and, like uh, the one with the horse. Shut up, Michael, not Sang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you, you see cheers it's go like up. And... My courses too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sure. <laughs> uh, you see, Another victory for the Flaming Fist, one man says, and cheers go up and you Wait, know, who money. Are the Flaming Fist again? Money exchanges hands. Um, make, a, make a history check. No, no, you just told us, but I forgot what you said. Sure. Uh, they are the uh, the guys from Baldur's Gate. They're essentially oh, okay. like they're the, the Baldur's Gate people. That's yeah. fine. I just want to remember. And then the Hell Riders are the Elter Old people. That's a very so, Greek looking was, horse, by the way. So why are they classical. called? The... Mm -hmm. What are so, the names again? The uh, so you've got the the Hell Riders, which is the Horsey Boys. They are from they're like the the guards of Elter Old, where you are right now. And then there's the Flaming Fist, who are from Baldur's Gate, which is uh, far to the east. Flaming um, Fists. Yes, and they seem to be dominating right now. Uh, yeah, money exchanges hands as they uh, seem to have won yet another one. You see one guy says, That's thrice now we've beaten you. Care to take another go at it? Maybe win your money back? You see the Hell Riders just like, uh, Nah, you, you, you can take this one. I want to shout, The Blades of Trust will take your offer. He says, Now that's the spirit. <laughs> like, yeah. I look back at the guy like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be beckons you over to the to the darts, um, the darts arena. Uh, there are what what kind of role do we need to do for the dart? It's like this is that an agility? This would be dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. Yeah, and it seems like it's teams of five, so all five of you will have to partake. Ah, oh, go on. Then. All right, cool. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. I don't give a... All right. Uh, 
In that case, uh, can I get dex checks from all of you? If you can play for Rogar, please, Tristan. Yeah. All right, guys, I've played plenty of Oh, it's safe. Sorry. Oh, that might have saved you there. <laughs> Rogar's character. Rogar the attack titan, yeah, Paddy? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just destroys the yeah. whole building. <laughs> Rogar turns into an attack toilet. We can't lose a dart if there is no dartboard. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we've all ran, we've all done them quite well. well we've done really well. Ah. Uh... <laughs> sorry guys. Sorry, sorry guys. It's been a while since we played darts. Uh... Isn't Rogar supposed to be teleporting off somewhere? Yeah, we're trying to get rid uh, of him. He, he's not... Yeah, he's gonna go tomorrow morning if, if okay. he can. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're trying to get rid of him for ages, and it's just things have kept coming up where we've not got rid of him. Alright. We might as well keep him in. <laughs> uh, yeah. The enemies make their rolls. The enemies. Oh. The enemies. Oof. Oh, 5d24. Yeah, well, because it was d20, but they all had plus 4. Ah. Oh. Uh, so, I figured that'll do. <laughs> Did they beat us? No, no, you guys seem to, seem to have beaten them. Uh, Yay! Things. Can I can I get cook black? <laughs> Not so much of a match when you're playing against someone who can actually beat you. All right, I so who stare him in the eye? Who who rolled first? Me. Okay, you decimate your opponent. Uh, yeah, people <laughs> are starting to think you might be a darts a darts professional. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I've yeah. actually never played darts before. But, but, Daylight, you beat your opponent. Uh, Ulfgar, you beat yours. Uh, ooh, Reed, roll again for me, please. With a 24? Yeah, because oh, they man. also got a 24. Yeah, it so, it comes, so it comes down to the to the last one. Oh, oh shit. Even Rogue up. Reed, you beansed it. Reed, you oh, beansed it. Reed. It was a close game. It was a close oh, Reed, game, but Reed, you got, nice you got beat, up, beat at the last. Nice try, uh, Reed, nice try. And, true. and uh, yeah. the, the last one, Rogue actually <laughs> beats his, his opponent. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a nice. It's now a 1v4 situation. Who wants to go up and try and beat this this last guy? Oh, I think Dale or so should do it. Can I? Fuck this guy. Who's got the highest Who's got the dexterity? I think me, I should Dale. Do fuck it. Oh, okay. 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 And he's been eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up next? Go on then, Reed. Oh no, you're already out. Reed's out. Um, no, Reed's out. Oh, I'll do go it, guys. I'll do it. No, 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 let me do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, Rogar's done it. Rogar wins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rogar yeah, wins. Rogar, Rogar, Rogar cleans house. They, uh, they give a few little claps. Well done, well done. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see we play again, and uh, this time we make it interesting. Did we not oh, how we bet money this time? No, you didn't say anything, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you how go, Reed. You, uh, Reed, Reed you how are we going to make it interesting? Reed wanted to let's, make uh, money. Let's put a little wager down. Should we say 50 gold each? Winner takes the pot. Fifteen. Ooh, I'm 50. in. Fifty. I'm in. Let's do it. Fifty. Or Fifteen. Fifty. Fifty. Five zero. 50. Five zero. Go on. So, yeah. so, oh, you, God, so you'd put... essentially win fifty gold each if you all win your your belts. I'll, I'll put fifty gold yeah, down. All right. Nice. Is that fifty gold gold put, of Rogal's money? Yeah? I'll put fifty gold of Rogal's money down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we want to do individual wins, or are we doing it a group wins or a group losers? Oh, I think. Uh, is actually, do you want to do one v ones or are we doing five v five? My dex is a uh, eighteen, so I'm okay at dex. Oh, well, what, go, what's guys, everyone else? Guys, I'm not. Sang, Sang and Dela are also good. I'm not. Oh, Ulfgar and Rogar not so much. Twenty. I'm not 20. very. I'm not very good at this, guys. I'm not. I'm a, a, uh, Sang and um, Dela, if they're in it, then I think we got a better chance of winning as a group. We'll do a group. Yeah, let's do a group game, guys. Blaze of Blaze of Throwing hammers. Blaze of trust. Blaze of trust. Let's do what we just did. Do it like that. Yeah, yeah YOLO. Look, guys, okay. I, I know a story from Draconia about this. They say the people who throw the most darts are more likely to win. One Rogar. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I do know a story relevant to almost every situation, Sang. It's in my character bio, <laughs> but I never pay attention to it. Dela, do you consent to playing? Yeah, this will be a piece of cake. Ooh, piece of cake? Is there cake on the... It sounds like tonight? he's eating cake right now. <laughs> someone comes, <laughs> by, some, some, someone comes by with a tray of cakes. <laughs> oh, here's your piece of cake, Dela. 
Lemon, lemon cake's pretty nice, actually. All right, oh, all right, calm, all right, Sansa, calm down. I read in a book oh, once that there was a character that really liked lemon cakes. <laughs> oh, I just said lemon cake because it's my mom's speciality. Oh, is it? it wasn't yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in character. Had some of your mom's lemon cake. Oh, but is this in character though? It's good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the DM let's all oh, roll character. dexterity once again. All right, I'm going. Here goes oh, Rogar. No. Oh, Rogar got <laughs> a we... Oh. Okay. Some uh, some mixed rolls from them. Anyway, uh, you got one, two, three, four. Just waiting on that car. Someone nudged my arm. Oh, Sang got wrecked. You got caked. Oh, fucking uh, So the first hey! round, Sang, you you get defeated. You like you've just sort of lost your edge. Plus, the guy you're playing seems to be playing way better than before. Uh, just like next... to point out, I have never played darts before today. <laughs> the, the, the next two, the next two what? rounds go by with Rogar and Dela both the decimating <laughs> their opponents. Uh, so yeah, Reed, you have your your game against the guy who beat you just about last time, and this time you have the edge. Yes. Uh, Ulfgar, you then get body. Uh, <laughs> okay. So only Reed, Rogar, and Dela have made it through. Oh, right, so, guys. Okay, guys, listen. Uh, I... we'll, we'll do Rogar first. So it's three uh, versus two, yeah? Uh, yeah, in the next round. So right. essentially, you, you have three three chances to win, but it's Rogar against his opponent. Alright, here I go, guys. Uh, okay, guys. It'd be, it'd be sick if, like, tri like it's like... Oh, guys, I, guys, I won! It'd be sick if it's down to the last person, and then a dart just flies across the room, hits Bullseye, and it's Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, it's Tristan right. with my... Oh, uh, what would you roll a nat what, one and, and hit you in the back of the head? Really. What would your one liner? Be? <laughs> what Tristan's? Yeah, oh, he's not really a one liner kind of guy, is he? No, you, you have to give be. a big speech. Do I, yeah, I have uh, to be like, oh, the power of Tor. I dedicate this I, 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 to, to yeah. Tor. Yeah. It'd be the power Anybody of Christ compels you. No, it'd be divine smite on the dart. Yeah, blows the dart board up. Dela, you're up next. Gordon Dela. Oh, Dela, mate. Damn, Dela loses. So Reed, come on Reed, you're up. Come on Reed, oh, on, Reed. Yes. and Reed seals the game. Boom! Fucking yes. With mate. Reed and Rogar of all people uh, <laughs> being the ones to to make it through. Oh guys, win, I know. Win the part. Listen, guys, a story relevant to the situation. Okay. Um, don't underestimate those with zero decks. <laughs> yeah, that's not a story. That's just a, that's just a, it's a fable. It's just a that's the moral of it. Uh, so yeah. all five of you can add fifty gold to your um, yay nice. to your pot. Oh, nice. Go on then, mate. Go on. Uh, then, mate. Few 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 drinks have been going around. Uh, you know they probably shouldn't really be be drinking uh, in an establishment like this in El Toro, but drinks drinks are going around nonetheless. Why not? Uh, why not? Like um, you're only allowed to drink in an inn in El oh, okay, if you're yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. having it with food. Um, God, yeah, you did tell us that. Mm -hmm. It's like everyone's like 15. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, you can so you can drink in a tavern, but that's like a designated place to drink alcohol. It's a very strict uh, system here. Uh, who obviously, cares? It's, obviously, it's not that strict because the tavern's just handing out drinks anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, as your as your game comes to a close, uh, the leader of the group sort of says like, "Well, you guys are clearly pretty good at darts. Uh, how good are you at drinking, though?" Oh, I'm pretty good, mate. Like, I, I drink a lot. Like, I, I my, my stomach can handle kobold raw. I don't know if it's worth putting fifty gold down, but uh, what say last one standing takes I don't know a lesser pot, maybe a hundred gold total. Oh yeah, go on. Go I'm, on up for that. I'm up for that. I have not a good drinking game for We ages. have to do this as a team. Oh, yep. Tr Tristan doesn't let me drink much anymore. Uh, you're gonna make constitution saving throws for me. Oh, and yeah, uh, no. you're just gonna keep going until... Obviously, if you roll bad enough, then you're out. You oh, should no. keep, oh. keep consistent <laughs> rolling hard. Oh, yeah, come on. I'm a chugging. I'm chugging. Not very good at drinking, apparently. Sang is out. Well, Sang, you have one pint and you can you can you, you can you can feel it in you you're like i can't have any more you otherwise i'm gonna vomit <laughs> so Wait, saying he's getting his drinks at this point uh i guess they're just like in the uh, oh in one the of them place. wow they rolled they rolled terribly 
Yeah, th yeah three, of them are, on that one. three of them are still in, but two of them go down. One of them vomits all over the, the establishment. <laughs> and you see the the the, uh, the staff there, who, are, by the way, are like you know very well, vel very well dressed in like these green um, like velvet uh, suits and dresses, and they're just like <sighs> sigh, get them up. The yeah, sigh, I feel that. Yeah. Hang on, so I feel who's, that. who's getting the sea strings? Uh, you're buying them, game, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Am I? Oh, but who, who are we playing with? Who are we actually drinking? Uh, you are drinking against the Flaming Fist. Okay. You know, the guys we just beat in darts, Rude. Yeah. I mean, do we want to get absolutely smashed, boys? Seeing as we just it's took too their money. For that. It's too late for that. It's too We're already going, mate. Alright, fuck it. Yeah, we're already getting smashed. Have, All right. some, have some fun, Rude. Next Tristan, round of drinks. Tristan out here, yeah. Rude. Come on. This is like a magnetic <laughs> strip on my keyboard. It's so weird. Oh, Rogar keeps going. Hmm. I'm keep Rogar keep I'm chugging. Keeps chugging. I'm chugging. Are you using a tech titan, Rogar? Oh, is that normal? That's Dela. No, that's normal, Rogar. De la pukes. De la's out. <laughs> oh, Ew. Oh, oh, no. Oh, shit. I need to roll again. Hold on. Oh, wait. I rolled. Cancel. Sushi. Damn. Damn. Oh. I think Ulfgar's just going to be well, there I mean, all night. Ulfgar's <laughs> king. He's, 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 a he's a dwarf. Dude, I've, I'm, I'm like, constitution is like 10. Already. Listen, <laughs> my bro, uh, listen, Ulfgaard doesn't like dwarven stereotypes unless it's about drinking. Oof, God damn! Reed, you barely felt that one. Exactly. Uh, so only Daylight goes out from your group that time. Uh, one more of theirs goes goes out. Oh, go on, guys. So it's now a, it's now a three v two. We'll you, say God? each each one of these Constitution checks is like three drinks. We'll say. Oh. So you're now you're now on your seventh to ninth cup. Oh, come Jesus. on, guys. Let's keep Ooh, going. Fuck you, yeah. Oh, fuck you, He's coming pints. Rogar! Oh, oh my god. god. Reed. Rogar coming out with the 20. Uh, Reed, you, you, are, you are now out. Oh, no. I vomit all over the table. But so are they. Oh! Yeah. I'm going to pick off. Uh, Rogar's going to pick off Gar up and give him a big hug. Oh, god. Yeah, so I'm back out. I want to start. Yeah! Rogar, the actual MVP, when winning the drinking competition and the dance competition. <laughs> it turns, guys, it turns out I play Rogar better than I play Tristan. <laughs> I want to see Mason play Tristan now. Oh, I just, God. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I would fucking pay for Yes, that would be great. Oh, dear me. Very fair. Uh, so you guys are all fairly <laughs> drunk at this point. Um... Definitely the ones of you that failed, uh, unless you've vomited it all up and now you're sort of sober in a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, your evening comes to an end. Um, you've all made another 20 gold off of that, so you can add that to your... Mm. Oh, base. Uh, See, Reed, Reed, you wanted to make money, mate. Look. But that 20 gold probably about covers all the drinks you've bought and your stay for the night. So oh, we're just not going to add that on. Yeah, then. <laughs> so just not that. Just oh, not well, that off. But, well, but you don't have to pay anything for the for the... For the, Listen, for the night. maybe the real gold was the friends we made along the way, right, guys? It, exactly. Couldn't have sure. put it better myself. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the city. Uh, yes, meanwhile, on the other side of the city. Uh, Tristan, you return home to uh, the Waters household. The Waters household, um, which is currently blocked by the flaming citadel of Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> There we go. I thought you meant your house was yeah, like, house. surrounded by soldiers for some reason. <laughs> well, it is Tristan. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, Tristan, you return home to, to your to your mother. Uh, and as well, your sister Eleanor is there. Hey, well. Eleanor. Mm -hmm. Good old Ellie. Tristan, why are you out so late? Shut up, Michael. Oh, please, Michael. <laughs> do it. No, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no balls. No I don't balls. know what, I don't know what's going to happen soon. Yeah. I'll just let you run with it. <laughs> uh, you, in comparison to the, the rowdy night that the rest of the gang are having, you sit down to a very orderly um, meal at the table. Um, everything's all very well, well laid out and prepared. We are um, a lawful good alignment family, guys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's like a sign on the on the door that says, like, lawful good fam. <laughs> so, Tristan, how are those... Oh, who are those friends that you've got? They seem a bit unscrupulous. Are you actually? Are, <laughs> are, are you? Are you? Are you my? Are you my mother? Yes, or his sister. What, well, what? she wouldn't know. So that would be his mother. Yeah, yeah, that would be his. That, that would be the mother. Well, can, can we just let Michael be Adam's whole family? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just like real life, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. 
Oh, I'm your whole oh, family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, You're hold his only on. family. Scratch that, Michael. You're not going to be his mom or his sister, but you will be his brothers. Okay. Yeah. They're pretty badass. They? Don't worry about them. Uh, what are a they? Fighter and a ranger. No, who are they? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like Alistair and Robert. They are uh, both soldiers in the army. Uh, currently away, but they'll be coming back for the for the funeral. Uh, they're not here at the moment, of course. Um, Tristan, what do you sort of? You don't have to do the whole conversation, but generally, what do you talk about? It? Um, well, uh, I say hello to Ellie, you know, because I've not seen her for eight, ages, mm -hmm. and she wasn't here earlier. I'll give her a big hug. Yep, she hugs you back, um, sort of explains she's, you know, not really been up to too much. Um, her own life and your mother's, I suppose, seem very trivial compared to your own in the last six months. But, um, you know, the there's some, something beautiful in the simplicity of their their everyday lives. Yeah, it's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Um... I'll explain that. Actually, I'm. Uh, I just wiped out the court of Bane, and I'm now a knight. So <laughs> they're like, "Wow!" In one day, <laughs> yeah, just like that. Blaze of trust, you know, mother. You may not appreciate their uh, their personalities a little bit, but we are efficient. Well, uh, well I think I just just wish your your father could have been here to see to see this. Uh yes. I'm sure, I'm sure he would have been very proud of you. Yes. Well. He, he Ellie's did. like, so uh, how much money does your uh, troop make? Do you have some sort of system for getting, <laughs> getting paid? You know, normally we would, because when we take contracts, we'd normally get paid. But we haven't really been taking any contracts recently that involve coin, which is something maybe we should return to. Hmm. Well, you do, you're, you're, uh, you're, doing, you're doing good in the world, so that's, uh, that, that, that's payment in and of itself. Yes, I, 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 I believe so, but the others, not so much. <laughs> But you know, um, the thing the, at the end of the day, we're not broke. We uh, we have a good income back home in Waterdeep with a tavern, and we've got some trade ships going around the coast, which is pretty good. <laughs> so you know, we've got a nice steady income, but we could potentially be taking on a few more contracts. Yes. Do you uh, have any plans for um, the winter solstice or for New Year's? Uh, no, we we came down here for to help me with the uh, Order of the Golden Lion and. Uh, Further some investigation into these these hell knights, but uh, no no well, plans. As you're always as... wel welcome here if you, if if you want. Uh, obviously, if you want to want to do things with your friends as well, that's that's. I think we're in El Torel for the foreseeable future, so uh, we'll probably hang nice. around. Well, uh, your father's funeral is on the twenty eighth. It's the twenty fifth today, by the way. Not three days, so we could take on a contract or two before then. Okay. So you can you know you've got it. You've got a few days in the city to. Um, do was there something you, you we were wish. supposed to be doing? Wasn't there like, did we get invited to something? Uh, yes, you did. Uh, I'll get yeah. to that in a bit. Okay, um, yeah. Just couldn't remember if that happened or not. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, when are Robert and uh, Alistair turning up? Do you know? Hopefully tomorrow. Um, they should certainly be here before the funeral. Um, yeah, we'll just have to have to see, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. It'd be good to see them again. Yes, joy won't be far away. Yeah. So yeah, the, the evening goes on. You have a nice little catch up with your family, uh, reminisce on old times, and uh, yeah, sleep in your old bed. Feels very weird. Yep. Uh, the next morning, cutting back to uh, the other group, can I get everyone to roll me a wisdom saving throw? Oh. This is what? Uh, disadvantage what? for anyone who failed. Oh, oh wait, but I didn't fail, Paddy. My name's Rogar, and I guess. Uh, Ro Rogar and Ulfgar didn't fail, <laughs> so we're um, fine. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I roll. Uh, <laughs> you've, really you've, you've, you, you've done all right. So Reed, you're very hungover. Daylight, you're very hungover. Rogar is like, you know, he's not, he's not that bad. He's he's manageable. Um, Sang, you're also like not not too hungover. You stopped drinking early. You like you felt it. You knew <laughs> you, you 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 called it. Did Sang uh, have Orf a did Sang have a back problem by any chance? Did he go <laughs> lie down early in the night. Uh, yeah. guy and very uncharacteristically from for you, you are hungover. I mean, you did drink a lot, but yeah. Rip How long did temporary hit points last for? By the way, Rogar and Ulfgar were basically like a minute. And they lost. <laughs> oh, we all um we all fully rested now aren't we yes of course you do all fully rest and get so all your let's do the spell slots again thinking my bobby's back you know because i used other spells 
Gods, so Rogoz is a bit... Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Ro- you guys sit down, have have your breakfast in the tavern, and Rogar says, Right, guys, well, uh, I should probably actually go research some stuff. Uh, I planned on doing, like, days ago. Uh, so, right now, on my list of things to research, I've got Shadow King and this and Samular. Uh, is there anything else you want me to research? And if, if you want me to research, like, certain things in a certain order, um, any thoughts? <laughs> Um, put this on, like, your, like, not so necessary, like, you oh, know, uh, research those two first. I'll type this into um, his, uh, other notes. Sorry, I'm, I'm writing it down. Oh, you're writing it down, okay. Could you look into the ham, oh, the hammer of thunderbolts? Uh, yeah, I can have a look at that. And the harp as well. Like, the ethereal planes, um, to get there. We need to know how yeah. to get to all these. Yeah, I, I think I, I, I've been thinking about, like, plane travelling and stuff and, like, looking at spells. So you want me to look at ways to travel between planes? Yeah, so, we want to yeah. know how to get there in order to access them. Okay, I can, I can research that. Uh, is this, this is after I've researched, like, the Shadow King and Samadar and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Can anyone hear the sirens? Yes. Uh, the sirens yeah. in mm-hmm. Eldorah. Yeah, uh, it's, the, it's the Hell Riders. The fun police. Yeah. <laughs> Whee, <yeah. laughs> uh, anything else before I escape? Some weird sound of voices. I will take that as a no. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me think. Um, there must be more about. Uh, did, did, are you seeing the knights? Are you gonna Are you gonna look at them? The knights? Yeah, yeah. They're they're like top of my list. Is that's the first thing. Okay. It might be worth also finding out what Louisa was discovering while she was there as well. well th- I think that's what she went to look for, was like the Shadow King and the Knights and stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to sort of like pick up whatever she- wherever she left off and find it easily enough. I don't know. I'll find out when I get there. Uh, I'm uh, going to go by Louisa's house as well and try and find her parents and let them know that she's, you know, dead. Uh, right. And he like gives everyone a hug. You probably most of all read, and then he oh, says, "Oh, I get my back." Well, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Remember, if you if you need me urgently, again urgently, then just message me and I'll teleport to you if I can. Obviously, the teleport might go wrong, so I might not be able to get to you. But <laughs> uh, just yeah, if you really need me, send me a message, read, and I'll come. Until then, uh, you know, message me like I don't know every few days or something, and then I can keep you updated on how I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. And he disappears in a <laughs> puff of puff of lightning and smoke. Ah, oh, rude. Does he does he actually end up in Silvery Moon? Uh, he can end up in Silvery Moon. Yeah. If you're teleporting you to, to... That? no, no. If you're teleporting to an actual um, teleportation circle that you've been to before, it automatically uh, works. Okay. So uh, there's uh, one in Ottoman's office. Ah, uh, cheers, Rogar. Very cool. Poor Tristan, yep. no one loves him. So yeah, Rogar, Rogar is gone. Alright, I'll get rid um, of his character sheet. How sad. What, what would the rest of you like to do? Well, I... When is that thing we were invited to? So you said you were you were invited to some peace talks, which are going on at the moment. They said they were going to send word when with like official like times and places and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. So you're, you're just sort of waiting on... Well, there was one thing I wanted Rogar to find out. You can, can always message, message him. Yeah, you can literally message him. <laughs> it's how to make tiramisu properly. <laughs> well, I'm going, I, Patrick, <laughs> yeah. on my side of the city, am going to wake up and try and find an adventuring board. Okay. With some contracts uh, on. You head into town. I guess you would you would, you would know the, where all these sort of places are. Um, make a... Well, make a investigation. Tristan's not very good at investigating. That was actually Tristan's character sheet. I okay. need to change his... Uh... That, that's, that's fine. Thank you. Right. There we go. Okay, 17. Yes. Uh, so there isn't, like, too much going on at the moment. A lot of it's just sort of, like, um, like protect this, this wagon along the tradeway, you know, um, protect this temple, um, 
there's there's a, there's a lot of help needed at Boar Sky Bridge after the attack there. Um, help is sort of being asked for in that sort of area. Yeah. Um, is this your way of saying that you've not planned anything, so please don't do this? Uh, not necessarily, but I can I can make things up. Okay. Like there, like there are little things. What, but... Well, they said they were going to send word, so we should probably like not go anywhere far. Yeah, that's why I was just looking at like, like local stuff. Yeah, there's can nothing this... of, there's, like there's nothing official that I've planned, but you can. What about if you, that if you give me an idea of the sort of work you're looking for? Well, like... I'm talking about stuff within this like outer owl, like I don't know, there's wolves in the area or something, and they kill Think, it. That's not. Whatever. There's not really. El Elter Al is a very well protected place. Like the lands around it are known for being like very safe. No. Um, so so especially in the heart of the city. Um, there's not much going on. Like they're just they're Maybe just, we just <laughs> hang around, hang around, wander around for a couple of days. All right. Well, in that case, then can I go find the others? Uh, yeah, you can find the others. Um, so yeah, you will regroup. All right. Like, where are they? Maybe we should um, oh, wander around, oh. like look around for a couple of days, and and just keep an eye out for any more signs of that cult. I'll just. It seems unlikely that that was all of them. I'll just walk into the tavern. All non hang non her over and amazing because it's me. <laughs> are they? Where are the Houston. others? Hello. We're gonna play a drinking game. Hola, amigo. Uh, you guys are all hungover <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. Oh, I I see. <laughs> uh, Let's get the where, session again. Where's uh, Where's Rogar? He's, he's oh awkward. He's dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. You drank too uh, much last night. Oh, he's gone. He he left. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Okay. Why? Oh, you know, I just thought I'd say bye to him, but yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, he, you know, he didn't say. He didn't say to you know say anything to you. He just sort of left. Oh. He wanted to. Get, he wanted to do an Irish farewell, you know. Ah, uh, I I don't know what that is. What's Irish? What's, what's an Irish? What's, what's an, an Irish, Irish farewell? What's an Irish? I mean, what's an you, Irish? Um, um, <laughs> oh shit! I mean, a dwarven farewell. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, that that's correct. <laughs> What's a dwarven farewell? It means you leave without saying goodbye to anyone. Is that what you did? It's what my dad did. Oh, did he go? <laughs> did he go to the shop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, still, still looking for those orc heads, man. <laughs> well, uh, oh, that's a shame. Okay. Um, uh, at this point, a man wanders in through the door uh, in very fine fine livery and hands you guys a note. Um, it's like Tom well, Jim, and the guy walks into the camera yeah. and is like, oh, it's a challenge! Specifically, he, yeah, the challenge man hands Tristan a note, and I haven't like written this note specifically, but basically it says, uh, you guys have been invited to a um, gathering slash party slash concert slash event um, at the High Hall. Um... Right, guys, you know, we've because... been invited to a party slash concert slash event slash gathering at the high hall. Yes. Um, the, I mean, that doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Yeah. No, the, but the it's people... what's written on the note, though, so... RSVP. Yeah. The people of Baldur's Gate have come to discuss a potential alliance, given the current state of the world. Uh, it, this will play, take place on the afternoon of the 27th of Nurpanoth, so that's tomorrow. Um, there is... Nurpanoth? Nurpanoth. What the hell is, the, what the is, hell is that? that, that that's the month. It's the equivalent of October in uh, our our world. Now, uh, yeah. and it says, uh, "Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard wishes to speak to uh, Tristan." Oh, just me. Uh, yeah, make a history check about Alder Raven. Okay, I'm not very just, good at history. Just you. <laughs> You're unfamiliar with him, which you know, it's 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 yeah, makes sense. There's a, big world out there. There's a lot of people in the world, you know. Uh, probably not. I'll say, if, yeah, Wolfgar, you can make a check with disadvantage, because you are proficient. Anyone nice. else <laughs> proficient? Yeah, nice. Uh, 15. You know of Duke Alder Ravenguard. He is on the Council of Four in Baldur's Gate, and the Council of Four are like, you know, the people who run Baldur's Gate. So he's one of the, one of the top dogs. Um, you Why probably wouldn't just know want to speak with Tristan? Many, anything much else. He doesn't, the note doesn't say. Oh. Right then. Interesting. Well, okay. Shall we all go? Or? Well, we've all got an invitation. It doesn't specifically say Tristan Waters is invited. Yeah, no, no. It, it says wait. Well, actually, says Tristan and the Blades of. Ah, there it's, you go. Ah, okay. It, it, is what it would specifically why, why say. Why Tristan and the Blades of? Shouldn't it just like you know he's oh. part of the Blades of Druids? I was going to say I'm. Yeah, well, all the Blades of Druids. Don't 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 shoot the bit of paper. 
Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, I guess Will. So, so how fancy is that? Sends a, a bit of paper. Well, yeah. it's at the it's at the high hall, which is where all the fancy is. So things I guess happen. you uh, have to dress up. fancy. You guys will have to dress dress fancy. Well, sure. well no. good job that I've I got a while ago. We've got we've fine clothes. Got... We've all got fine. Well, no, Sang wasn't there. I don't. I Sang don't have any. Well, you know the, the, rest, the, the rest of you would have fine clothes. You know what, Sang? Um, We're all. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll buy you some fine clothes with some group funds. You'll buy them. Yes. Tristan, sure. you would know that like you wearing your paladin gear would probably be like suitable for that sort of occasion. Yes. Um, just I, don't, as, like, I don't really take yeah. my armor off much these days. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> Do um, I have to take my armor off? I don't want to. Can I get uh, no, you don't. You don't have to at all. Well, I was going to say, what's, what Ulfgar, what's your armor made of? Yours is Mithril, right? Yeah. Mm, is it? No, it changed. It's, it's not Mithril. What, what, what's, uh... what's, Connor, what's, what's, what's Ulfgar's armor? It was. Oh god, it was a special one. You could just look, at your, you could just look it, at your character it, sheet. Well, it, it's dwarven plate. Oh, that should be smart enough, right? Dwarven plate is is pretty smart. I mean, it's smart. yeah, you you guys could probably just rock up in your regular attire, but you. would Get a few odd looks, mainly those of you oh, who. Fuck. <laughs> I know you don't, but. Uh, oh, um, fuck. Like fuck pe pe guys. people in armor would probably be alright, um, but people, yeah, you know, just do what you want. <laughs> the fancier you look, the more the, the more you'll fit in. Yeah, uh, I, I if would, you're not trying to fit in, then you'll. I would recommend wearing the uh, wearing some fancier gear. I mean, we, if uh... you're gonna buy it for me, then I'll wear it. Yeah, but I'll if, buy if it. I'd have to buy it myself, then I'm not gonna. No, no, I'll buy it for you. It's fine. I was gonna say, yeah, that's can fine. I buy something? You've already to go got with my uniform. You've already got. Well, your armor is special, Reed, because you can make it look like whatever you want it to look like. So you don't need yeah, to buy I'll... anything. You can just yeah, but do it. I want, I want a top hat. <laughs> yeah, you can just, you can just make a top hat. Yo, that's sick. Didn't right? Hang on a second. Didn't we? Didn't, didn't we agree? Yeah, fine, go buy one. Waste your money. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't we? Didn't we agree on group colors at one point? I swear we did. I don't think. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't no, remember I don't, this. That doesn't ring about to me. Did we not have a conversation crest? you had in your head? <laughs> do we not have a? I swear we've yeah, got a coat of arms. Don't we? Fantasizing about. No, I don't think we've got a coat of arms either. None of this is ring the bell I thought we had a coat of arms. Huh, maybe we have agreed on it. No, no, I'm pretty sure we do. I remember having this conversation. This is ages ago. This is when we first got the tower. This is when we first got the tower. This is when we first got about a sword or something. Yeah, we went. I mean, it's the blades of dress, so I'd imagine the blade is involved in some way. Oh, right, yeah. Let's, I, let's iron out right here. Oh, right, right now. I what's, think, what's the group colors? I think, what's the, what's I the, think the blaze of dress crust, crest is like bright pink. How many? No, how many? Crust. <laughs> <laughs> a bread crust. A bread crust. <laughs> We've got like how many of us are there in the group? Like the six, right? Six. Six. There, there was eight in total, but two of them. <laughs> two of them are dead yet. Yeah, no. Well, uh, technically, Sang's not in the group. She's on probation. All oh, right. Five and a half. I mean, we could. What I what I rec I think we could do, which would be cool, is we could go get some pins, mate. Like little. Brooches or pins, mate. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, we that we could put. What they're gonna look like? That's well, what it could be yeah. like a sword. It could be a sword. Ah, uh, fuck sword. that! I'm getting That's a tattoo. Basic. Like a blade. What is it? <laughs> With the blades of trust. I'm gonna. Get, I'm gonna get a tattoo. I like. I think. I think like um six swords all pointed in towards each other, like maybe crossed. Yeah. That sounds and... pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. And then Ooh. is each sword like look a little bit different or are they all yes. identical? Yes. Oh mate, throw a fucking hammer in there. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You could just throw in like You could yeah, put a dagger cool, in, cool you stuff. could put a dagger. And like all and all the uh, weapons, they're all like touching tips, but it's not gay. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they've got like, socks on. <laughs> not in one gay yeah. way as possible. We're all touching tips. Yeah, yeah, all weapons touching tips. Yeah. I think we should all get matching brooches made for our cloaks. Yeah, well, that's like that's what the brooch would be. It'd be like a circle, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. like all of the blades meeting in the middle. Yeah, that'd be cool. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then so... for Rogar, it should just be an attack time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll have a staff. Yeah, he'd yeah, have a staff. yeah. He'd have a okay. trusty quarter staff. So, what... so we'd have a sword for Tristan, I imagine. Yes. A hammer for Ulfgar, a staff for Rogar. What the rest of the three of you? I'll have a rapier. I was gonna say yeah, yep. rapier for Reed and then dagger. sword for Sang and dagger, dagger yeah, yeah. for and dagger for, for daylight. Nice. Yeah. And uh, group colors. Hmm. Hang on, this would have been decided when it was Shan. So would that impact anything? Well, we're redoing it now. So <laughs> I, I think the fact that no one remembered is this is in canon. Yeah, we're redoing like, it now. I, va I vaguely had an idea of it. Yeah. What, Nothing was. What ironed colors out. did we? St um. 
I don't think Yellow. we agreed on color. But... Well, I mean, I'm already, I'm already purple. I'm already gold. A gold, gold and purple would be cool. It's very royal. Mm. A bit presumptuous. Yeah, it's very, actually. very, it's very, very, very a bit presumptuous. Yeah, it's not presumptuous. We are high game, high, high bred royalty. Nah, we're not really. Right. I am. Are you? Yeah. No. I think it looks good. Mm. I like it. I'm down for it. Do you not dig it, Tristan? No, I'm not. A, the purple. Mm. How about bright pink? How about yellow and black? Yeah? Yellow and black? No. Works. Red and black. A bit generic. Mm. Very yeah. evil. <laughs> Very evil. No, yeah. It's like Albania. I like red and black. I don't know what Albania is. But what is I don't Albania? Want an Albanian flag. Um... It's a, like a distant land. Um, Oh right, got, I see. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. The flag is pretty. It's don't get me wrong. It's a cool flag, but I don't want it. You know. Yellow and like. Hmm. Let's let's get some votes in the in the chat. If you just type it in the thing, S say you want your main color to be your background color, and then your next color to be like the color of the image. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, do you even have to have matching colors? Like. Well, you want a group. I, I, what I kind of yeah. want is, you remember the um, the old knight that died a thousand years ago, uh, but his his house name was Clegane. Um, nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, you should know. But anyway, nope. it's yellow background, black, <laughs> black, um, and black dogs. I want that, but with swords. I like it. You see, I've already got I a coat like of arms. It. So. Because Sorry. I wanted to quarter it. That's the thing. I wanted to like get a. That's one. Oh, that's one thing I want to do, Patrick. I want to get a tabard made and have it like quartered. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm gonna repaint my shield at some point as well. Yeah. So yours is the Order of the Golden Lion, which is just a golden lion on the white background. Yeah. I was no. It, I was gonna. I'll tell you what I'm gonna quarter after we saw this. Um, okay. I was gonna go with gold and black personally. Ooh, no, change that. Black black background, golden swords. Uh, Ulfgaard Dela, any thoughts? Uh, not really. Go on then. I don't know. Come on, I don't, Sean, I don't think we join need, me. I don't think we need matching outfits. Yeah, I agree with that. Why don't we you just choose our own colours? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Guys, it's the same, colors, colors, yeah. you've, you've, you've same symbol, different colours? <laughs> I'm gonna wear um, red, red and black. <laughs> Tristan, yours in the chat should be black, black and gold. I know. I said that after. Background. Yeah, no, I said that after I typed it. <laughs> All right. I think black and royal blue. Well, if we well, okay. How about we do whatever colors we want, but we have the same symbol, and the same yeah, symbol is sense. the same symbol as the six weapons. Okay, sure. so it's distinguishable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. But then it's not. No, no, no. I think we need to like get it down because it needs to be. It needs to be bold. It needs to be like that's the blade of dress. I think if we have it all like different colors and it, it might you know lose it. You know we need I we think, need a color for the coat of arms. Maybe at least the the color for the the actual symbol should be the oh. same. Yeah, we, like yeah, we I think have... I don't know. I think I think red and black seems more like dark, more like more like the evil side. And we want we want to we want to seem approachable. Gold we want to and we're gonna help people. Gold and dark blue. What about white and royal blue? Which is which? Huh? Like white I mean, is the I, background. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming the first color that is said is the background. The second color is the image. I feel like dark, a nice royal blue is more better of a background. Yeah, a nice like royal blue as background, and then like white for the symbol. Yeah, because it, it's more it's, it's more or less like it's like a pure color. It's like you know. Do you remember I mean, that picture on the internet a few years ago where it was like a dress and it was like oh, no no, <laughs> no. Was more black yeah. and blue. No, Wait, what? Yeah. Just do something like that, and then people will be like, oh yes. <laughs> that is so smart. I like it. So are we going with like, like white symbol, royal blue background for the coat of arms? I mean, I think so. If you want to do it as a group, black, but sure. I don't know, like. Again, that's just my suggestion. I don't, like, I don't, like, it's it's all of our decisions to do it. Yeah, whatever. Just yeah, go yeah, just go with it. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll wear my individual one. 
Yeah, same. So we'll get I'll, a. Uh, uh, so so we'll get a. Um, white white symbol. We're why, on. Why do we even like have to have thicker looks? Like, why can't we just like all have the same like uh, coat of arms? Just all of us just choose whatever colors we want. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I, I, we're all yeah, having individual ones, but. But like, for like, things, for, for the, like, like the I'll, I'll get later. I was gonna get a couple of banners yeah. for the. the I get yeah. Ships. You would have to have one for like you know, not not that you would necessarily wear, but one to like one for the flyers. Black and white. All right. Well, I was gonna um, I'm gonna go find a clove shop because I want to order the tabard and I need to order Sang's stuff, which will be red and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you come with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if anyone else wants to get anything made up, we can dip into the group funds yeah. first, so... I want a top hat. You want a top hat? Mm -hmm. So you guys Connor. go clothes shopping. Connor, please. Oh, yeah, Connor, you are. Yay. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. What are you prepared to buy for me? Um, what do you want, like a waistcoat or something? I don't know. Waistcoat? A dress, I guess. What's your style? Like, I don't know, what's your style? Like, like a sleek red dress. Do you want a sleek I want to, I want you to get the most expensive one that you can that you would I mean buy we are dipping me. into yeah. we are dipping into group funds here, so Exactly, that's why I'm wanting the most expensive. El Toro is an expensive place as well. Yeah. I think it should cost at least a thousand gold. What? <laughs> Absolutely not. I will buy Sang a nice um sort of um hmm. dress. <laughs> yes, a nice, a nice dress, but made out of like silk. Good quad? No, not silk. Because think about when we what? go back north. Oh, you want a silk dress? Yeah. You want a silk a nice red silk dress with like yes. the symbol in black. I think. I think it heart? should have the option of like being cut up, cut at the shoulders. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you want so, that? Like, if like a fight kicks off, you can just like rip the shoulders, rip, rip the arms off. Like, where? Do, yeah, yeah. Where do you? Good. Where do you want the symbol? Um. Uh, on your heart, over your heart, I guess. The other, the other side. Yeah. I'd say on one shoulder, going down the arm. Oh, that'd be cool. Ah, uh, okay, sure. Yeah, do that. How much is that gonna? Um, we'll say. Oh, silk is a, a good material because it's warm in in the cold and and it's cool in the hot. A hundred gold, Patrick. I was gonna say one hundred and seventy. One hundred and seventy, sure, that's fine. What about uh, shoes? We'll say shoes come with come with the outfit, um, and you can pick those as well. Cool. Sounds good. Can everyone check this? <laughs> he, wants he wants that hat. I want that hat. You want that exact <laughs> with a, hat? Uh, yeah, yeah with, white, can... with a white ribbon and like the sigil of Blazer Drust on it. Oh, okay. You're getting a custom, a custom build. Okay. Yeah, uh, custom. Yeah. A, a, a custom cap like that will probably set you back fifteen gold. Yeah, that works. Gold. And you'd have to come back to get this later because obviously they don't have it on. But, uh, no, I can't attempt to hurry up. We've got a day. <laughs> Bro, how fast do you want this made? Now, I need it now. I need <laughs> we 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 we, we can't give it to you now. It doesn't matter how much money you give us. We can't can't give it. You can't. We can't just. Tristan, this is unrealistic, isn't it? This is ludicrous behavior. We've got a day. It's fine. All right. You, you do have a whole day. Um, like it'll, it'll probably only take them like a few hours so to make this. The, ta the, still. the tabard I want to get, Paddy. So mm -hmm. it's like quartered. So like, the top left and the bottom right are the blades of dress symbol. Mm -hmm. um, and they're the white, they're the group symbol. So it's white on blue. Yep. And then in the top, uh, the top right, it's going to be the hand of Torm. Yep. Um, is it is it gold on white? Uh, it white on I believe gold? it's si I believe it's silver. On... Is it silver on gold? It's silver and white. Silver and white. Yeah. Okay. And then the bottom, uh, the bottom left one's going to be the order of the golden lion colors. Yeah, and that and that is uh, gold. Um, oh, it's gold on black. Oh wait, hold on. Um, just says gold, so I'll say you can pick white or black. Um, well, copy the um, the torn one, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it's quartered. Cool, cool. I'll let all of you who are having n new items write. Make sure you want to write them down. Oh yeah. Stuff. I'll let you keep a track of all the details. So, top hat, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bod top hat. Let me 
mean, BOD? Blades addressed. Blades addressed. Oh yeah, BOD. 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 Like it. That should be the new, um, the new chat name. BOD. BOD. <laughs> BOD. Confused Mason. <laughs> What's BOD, guys? Mm, I'm so excited too. for this hat. <laughs> well, you hang around for a few hours. Get your. Um, can I mod it up so it's got like an explosive in it or something? <laughs> like, if I need to, I can just trigger it and like throw it at someone. Uh, do you have any grenade. explosives uh, with you, or do you want to purchase some? Yeah, close shop. Uh, well, no, you go to a different shop, obviously. But yeah, I'll put, I'll, I'll, um, I'll purchase some explosives. Sure. Uh, how big an explosion are we talking here? Like ten feet. Okay, that's that's. that's All right, twenty feet. Okay, the price is going to go up depending on how big the you want the explosion. Is fifty feet. Fifty no, feet. Hundred feet. Okay, you can't fit that. In a hat. I want to be a terrorist. <laughs> you can't fit that in a hat. <laughs> uh, I think I think well, a ten. Feet. I think oh, a ten oh, foot oh. a, a ten foot explosion is reasonable. Re reasonable. Um, what about twenty feet? I want to be a little bit unreasonable. Uh, should we? I'll meet you in the middle and say fifteen. Fifteen feet. But I want a, a certain a trigger on it, so it only I know how to trigger it, essentially. Yeah. Well, you you'd have to make this yourself. So. Oh. Yeah. I have okay. Stores, I guess, you can... Yeah, yeah. You both yeah, have tinker stores. So. Hey, La, can you make a bomb for me? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the top hat, please. Dude, you like you like gambit. You just, just like take, take like the thing of just throw it and look at like energy charge and it just blows up. Uh, so you'd probably spend another fifty gold on uh, explosive materials. Ooh, 50. yeah. Well, does that come out of the blaze trust or is that me paying? I mean, for that it? sounds like a personal project. That's personal. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy paying Dude, for I feel like, items. Like but... everyone's taking things out of the pot and I haven't taken anything. Well, you can. I mean, that's I what I said. Hat. I said I was going to pay know, for anything. I know, I, I know, I know, I know, but I kind of. This, I thought it was just like an emergency fund. Well, everyone was complaining about money to me, so. Oh, no I understand. About money. Were they? Who was complaining about money? Well, people yeah, were saying people were money. saying we don't get paid, so I'm offering to pay for things because you know it's it's. Uh, yeah, it's not we've put it's most of it towards yeah, we put most of it towards the blazer dress. Yeah, so and this is for a blazer dress event. So you Dude, know. Let's do this. Let's... Fuck it, I'm 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 cashing out all my money. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, no, no, I won't buy <laughs> weapons. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, um, like, I'm like a few thousand gold just to splash on some cool fancy weapons. Uh, that sounds like a personal thing. That, yeah, that sounds like a personal. Yeah, yeah, what, that's what kind what I'm of saying. weapons are we talking about? What kind? Of... I want to buy some health potions personally. You can I think that's purchase some potions with blades addressed. Like I feel like oh, that okay. is very much blades addressed. Territory. Well, I, don't you, know, you, don't you have loads already? I was gonna say we've got loads of potions. I've been using loads though. That's that's yeah. the thing. I, I have tons. I've got. Fair. Oh yeah, he got used three a lot left. I've got three. I've got three health potions left. Like great. Oh, uh, I've got no superior. You know what? I'll, I'll, I mean, you know what? It's fine. Don't worry. I'm gonna slide you two of my superior health potions if you need some. There you go. Have two. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I can heal myself, can't I? So. <laughs> that's 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 really nice of you. That's well, thank you, know, Tristan. I'm a team player. They're, they're so. worth a lot of money as well. So yeah. It's good. You know, Blazer, I'm feeling you know a what? bit more. I'm feeling you know a bit what? more like we're a group now. You know, I'm feeling like we need to be a bit more. You know, close knit. And I, you know, Ulfgar takes a lot of hits, so he can help. I can heal myself. He can have the help. Some health potions. It's all good. That's yeah. Me, that's what's been seen now. Yeah. What's that? What's how much have we got? My ass. Um, Blazer trust thing. Uh, and, and I'm gonna pull out my my little ledger. <laughs> Uh, in the current Blaze of Drust group fund, we have 5,310 gold, and we've got 2,000 gold invested oh. in trading. Yeah. Sweet. So. Yeah, I mean, we just need, um, I'm not too, I'm not fussed about that, but it would just be good to get some, like, loads of money somewhere. Well, I was looking around for jobs, but there's not currently any jobs going, so maybe when we get back to Waterdeep, yeah, <laughs> we've got money coming in, it's fine, we're good. The money will roll right in. Let's money will roll right in. You just got yeah. Are we ready for this? Money's um, coming. I money. think I let's get you. let's get our clothes and see you. what's going on in the high. We might be able to snag ourselves a good job here. Come on, let's 
Let's go to the that, give you Daddy's a good bringing job. in a paycheck, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Tristan is trusting Tristan. I'll give you a good job. I'm not Rogar anymore. <laughs> Who's that guy? Um, I don't. He didn't Rogar's say bye to me. Gone. He didn't say bye hey, to me. Rogar's, uh, Rogar's done let... to do research. Patrick, is our stuff yes. ready? Uh, yes, your stuff is yeah. ready. All right, let's get our stuff. I've got let's, this nice let's sleek. Get to I've it. got this nice sleek tab tabard. Mm -hmm. Sank has nice new dress, and yeah, and nice I need tabard. to use the toilet. Reed has his, his new top hat. So we'll say nice. that that evening, uh, Dale and Reed, you are going to attempt to construct an explosive. I will be back in a minute. I need to <laughs> an explosive top hat, which if oh you roll goodness. poorly will explode on you, and then you have to go buy a new top hat. Don't worry, I'm going to roll poorly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The question uh, is though, do the places oh, just pay for that oh. new top? <laughs> uh, so I can either have each of you roll individually or one of you roll with advantage. I don't even do uh, each I... individually. Sure. Oh, I they like so, uh, you just make this yourself. Go on, mate. Oh, I'm yeah. yeah, so you just roll Tinker with tools, the. Yeah? Uh, yeah, Tinker's Tools. Tinker Tools checks. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah, those are some some solid rolls there. Uh, <laughs> Dega, we're pretty good at making bombs. We should like search into this more. Often. You rolled a natural fifteen and a natural eighteen. We made a bomb, Tristan. You made a bomb. They, succe they successfully <laughs> successfully made a hat a hat bomb. Oh, what do you boy. want the what, what do you want the trigger to be? Um, I want it to be. Um... It can't be magical. It has to be like an actual thing within the. Um... Within the hat, like uh, sort of edgings of it, I want you to be able to press a button, and it flicks out uh, some sort of like hook lever thing, and you pull that, and then that gives you um, five second timer, then you throw the bomb. Okay. Yeah. So it, like it, that's the pin essentially. When you pull that lever, it's like a <laughs> trigger, and then, and then boom. We're pretty good at this, Dela. We should make explosives make bombs, for a living. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should be. You could probably sell this top hat bomb for more than like you, for more than the, the price that you paid for it. We have got a business. That yeah. is it. Blades of trust. Arms stealers. Arm stealers. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for this. I'm. I'm gonna make loads of money from this. Dela, if you stick with me, we could be millionaires by the end of the year. <laughs> it's it's the twenty fifth of October. <laughs> I'm ambitious, but yeah, if I gotta, set a deadline, give it to him. Technically, though, aren't in, in comparison to like the majority of people in the D and D world, aren't we already millionaires? Because gold's worth like a lot. Uh, one gold I mean, would, be, gonna, would be worth like a tenner. I was going to actually raise Boy. this. Like the neighbor that I've been trying to buy the house, she actually makes more money than us, <laughs> and she just is a maid. Uh, no, she, she makes she, more money. She doesn't. She she gets 150 gold like a week, wow. right? Uh, yeah, which is like that's not loads. That, no, that's pretty standard for uh, what deep living. Um, you guys make more than that probably. Yeah, like well, we, get it, yeah, we get it in lump sums though, don't we? Yeah, you get it in lump sums. Yeah, like if we die, then we don't have anything. I mean, you made 50 gold last night just from playing darts. And drink it. Yeah, but I, I spent that on a hat and, and making it into a bomb. <laughs> well, yeah. it sounds like a... You still made the money though. How, how you yeah. spend your money? So you can... yeah. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. <laughs> Expense, expenses though, you know, it's a necessary thing. Uh -huh. we'll definitely it not. It's definitely sure. not. Yeah. Um, your form has been declined. What? What? His form has been declined. Like his form to get it from the. Oh, from the Google front. Phones has been declined. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I just thought you was talking to oh, someone else. Got... Yeah. No, I was like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good joke. Ufka, I didn't know you were a side hustle banker. But with you being a banker, me being an arms dealer, we can make a lot of money together. <laughs> I was right. thinking about setting up a casino. Sick. That would also be sick. So many yeah, ideas, guys. guys. We yeah, we need but we could, we like, uh, could we like? Could we like? That's uh -huh. my that's my like next thing after this like this campaign is I'm gonna start <laughs> with casino. Oh, is that your like end game? <laughs> and I'm gonna become yeah. the king thing of the sea. Uh, it's like built on a, <laughs> yeah, a, built, built on like uh, an old dwarvish land, so like you're allowed to have casinos there. <laughs> what, is he, what is he a native American? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me and the DM are gonna find a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> 
so what I'm hearing is you've already got a trading business I'm and a farming business. Audience, You're now so. thinking about setting up a, a an arms dealing business, a casino business. It's probably something else. Yep. Uh, a paladin business, trusting you want us to set up a sect. Yeah. Uh, so. I think about slavery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely that. illegal. <laughs> In fact, you you helped abolish it. <laughs> but, <laughs> sure. Yeah, but now we can have a monopoly. Fast <laughs> <laughs> uh, part of the plan. All right. Um, like, get rid of slavery across the globe, so we can be the ones to. <laughs> yeah, that is some it's, that is some dark shit, right? <laughs> that is some dark... We're like, we just, <laughs> oh, we just go straight chaotic evil. Yeah. Oh, all right, Paddy. Uh... Yes. Uh, so, unless there's anything else you want to do that day, uh, the, really, no. the evening passes. Uh, that evening as well, Tristan, when you return home, uh, your brothers have arrived. Oh. Uh, we'll say, right, we'll say, uh, Michael, do you want to play Robert or Alistair? Uh, which one was which? Uh, Robert is the ranger, Alistair is the older one. Fire. I'll be the older one. Well, they're both okay. younger than me. They're both younger than Tristan. Um, anyone, anyone else want to play the ranger boy? The ranger Take... boy? Go on then. Yeah, my younger brother. Fuck yeah, go on then. I... Okay. So, um, you know, obviously don't just play yourselves, you are playing characters here, guys. Um, but uh, have, <clears> have, <throat> have fun with it. So Tristan, you return um... home. To, Tell me a little um, bit about Tell me a little, um, Yeah, little so you were all raised in a very um, military household, military family. Your dad was uh, an officer. Um, everybody then, so like Tristan, Robert, and uh, Alistair all followed that sort of, um, that line of work, joining the, joining the military. So you've been sort of away. You've probably done a little bit of fighting here and there, but a lot of it's just like, you know, guard work, just sort of sat around waiting at a place, just Jay chilling. Um, imagine, so imagine Robert, right? Uh, yeah, Trist Robert, Tr Robert... Tristan obviously strayed from this path when he died and then decided to become a paladin. But these guys, yeah, just but like, in the imagine, imagine Robert's more like Faramir and then Alistair's more like Boromir. Because Robert's okay. the ranger, he's the younger. I'm, I'm Alistair, yeah. Yeah, and you're you're like the older fighter. <laughs> and there's me. I'm... Okay, so I'm the so, older one. No, you're the youngest no, one. No, no, no. You're the young ranger I, I, I thought I signed up. You're the young mm -hmm. ranger guy. So I'm, 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 I'm trying to prove boy. myself. All right, oh my god, like older boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Already not on to, off to a good start, Michael. Gone well. <laughs> my name is Alistair, in case you forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like looking at him, I'm like, did you get hit on the head or something? You actually say that? Or you just yes, I, I say that. If, you, if you're working like this, yes. Well, you know how it goes with training. You you take a take a hit to the head, Alistair. Got kicked by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, my helmet took most of the damage. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Well, it's, sure it's, 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 good, it's good to see you anyway. I'll pull him in for a hug. Yeah, I'll give him a hug. I'll give like a, can I just, a good, can good I just squeeze. hug them both as well. Just like <laughs> Robert yeah. appears from the shadows, hugs. <laughs> yeah. it's good to have you both back together. Ah, still a sneaky bastard. <laughs> he's even sneakier when he's How's he being interested? at the pub, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no? I know, right? <laughs> what does that even mean? I, I don't know. Time recently? <laughs> Just well, um, <clears throat> I'm a knight now. Got knighted yesterday. Oh, knight! Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be Sir Tristan. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, sorry, Mr. Tristan. Sir, I mean, sir Tristan, sorry. honestly, come on, Robert. Jeez. Sorry, sir. No, no, it's fine. It's good sorry, to be. It's sir. good to be back home. Sorry, well, sir. we're all very proud. No, 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 of you. I'm sorry. Seriously, that's a big accomplishment. I'm sorry I didn't take it seriously. That's a. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll, ruff, I'll ruffle his hair. He's a good younger brother. Uh, uh, boys, Can dinner's I just, like, ready. Smile and nod back in. Yeah. Oh, it's dinner. All right. Mother's. Uh, just. I've made your favourites. What's everybody's favourite? <laughs> um. Oh God. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Fish and chips. So, yeah, there's, there's, it, this is like a buffet, by the way. So you can just sort of pick and choose. But yeah, there'll sausage be fish and rolls. chips there. There'll be fish and chips, sausage rolls. Well, you can only pick one each. So. Uh, go on then. Sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> sausage rolls <laughs> is Alistair's <laughs> favourite food. <laughs> Look, he's a military man, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I am partial to a bit of roast beef, I'm not going to lie. There's a Greg that I am I'm digging. It's, a song. Song. it's not called a, it's not called a Greg. It's like roast it, it's, 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 Gregory. It's, it's actually Tom's Gregory's. Pastries. It's Tom's yeah. pastries. Tom's pastries just down the road. 
Wow. No, not everything's named after Tom. No, no everything's after Tom. <laughs> no, it's Gregory's. I think right. Gre Gregory's is a good name. So Gregory's. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> so Gregory's. All right. Um. Yeah. Cool. Ro Ro Robert, aka Connor. Yours was what chicken? Did you say? Roast chicken. Roast chicken. <laughs> I do like a bit of roast beef. Like, like a roast like, like chicken. Full roast chicken, yeah. <laughs> just. Thank you. He picks uh, it with his bare yeah. hands, just starts to eat it. Once again, you guys uh, spend some time just sort, of catch, ca just sort of catching up. Um, you hear of, like, you know, they were involved in, like, a, a few little skirmishes with, like, some gnolls. Um, but nothing, um, nothing, nothing mad. But then yeah, I'll, I'll, I will regale them with tales of what I've been up to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you regale into the night. You know, I, I died. That was that was fun. <laughs> was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> you know, it was Doesn't kind of very fun. No, it was kind of you know. I'm trying to remember how did Tristan die. Oh yeah, he got crushed by a giant, didn't he? Yeah. Um. You know, I killed the giant, and then I, I died, and it was it was cold. It's pretty, you know, and then I was awake again. It's very weird. Um, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend. Did you see the gods? I don't remember. I, I didn't see anything. I just remember fading out, and then fading back in again. Is that why you decided to start a mercenary company? Well, that kind of happened by accident you know we uh, i did i have communed with torm he has spoken to me uh that's why i've i've got my powers he granted them to me uh and the yeah, the others i met in a tavern on a job um we were chasing out the zentarum from a town and we ended up in Waterdeep. found we worked quite well together and i thought we should formalize it formalized the company and so we're a mercenary company that owns a tavern and a trading company as well and a farm well you've certainly done well for yourself i'm very jealous oh come on you can you can work you, you, you must be an officer almost surely by um maybe i don't know um uh, what rank am i he's probably, like, uh, he's probably like a less son. you can be less than captain but I'm a lieutenant. Than, yeah, yeah, you can be a lieutenant. So you're a lieutenant. Trist Tristan got up to... I, I got up to captain before I left to, for the north, so, you know. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. I also recommend you always destining great things. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't go that far. I wasn't before beforehand. Um, things <laughs> changed a bit. You know. Um, well, you can always come back to the guard with us if you get bored. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. <laughs> 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 uh, well, uh, we may work together in the future, you know, uh, as a member of the Golden Lion now. You know. It's true. Well, I hope uh, we'll be seeing more of you around here for sure. We'll be, uh... The Mother has missed you terribly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, well, we, we, ha we have lodgings in Waterdeep if you ever want some leave and you need somewhere to stay. We've got a good time. I get to stay for free? Yes. Free drinks? Free for the family, yeah. <laughs> Free, free food. Yeah, we've got a good chair. Free entertainment. Good, wow. Yeah, yes, we have a very interesting yeah. halfling in the company. Reads uh, do, you, do you have enough room for all of us to stay? Hmm. Eleanor says. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, and I think. No. No. <laughs> not all of us. Not all at once. Do but... you know a, a, a nice place we could stay that's nearby or something? That you could pay for. Probably. Yes. <laughs> <Next door. laughs> There's a lovely family next door that always willing to to get to. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll figure it out as we get there. But yes, yeah, so I know a few places. Um, if we're lucky, the 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 Golden Lion will be uh, setting up shop in Waterdeep as well. So I can always pull some strings there. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I've got an invitation to the the High Hall tomorrow. So we'll be going up there as well. Very fancy. Yes, yeah, so I'm meeting. Uh, who am I meeting, Patrick? You should have. I know. I should have written it. Let me write it down now. Uh, Grand Duke Ald Alder Ravenguard. Um, he's the one who specifically requested you. Meet um, Grand Duke. How do you spell his first name? U L D E R. Yep. And uh, then just Ravenguard. Oh, Ravenguard. Yeah, cool. Yes, I'm. It's obviously, I'm... It's spelled the American way. But no, I'm going to spell it. I'm going to spell it the English way. The superior way. 
There we go, Raven Guard. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm meeting one of the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate tomorrow. Which will be interesting. I don't know why he wants to see me, but... Well, uh, don't make too much of a tit of yourself. Me? Make a tit of myself. I'm an anointed knight now, mother. Even knights can make fools of themselves. Yeah, we remember you back in the day, Tristan. Yes, it's a fair point. Yes. I remember that one time when you uh, accidentally got uh, stuck in a bog, and uh, we all laughed at you and then pulled you out. Yes, well, you know, that's... That's, that's, that's my fondest memory of Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and yet you still couldn't beat me on the training field, so it's okay. And then we could, maybe we could train a little bit now. Maybe uh, uh, go out to a tomorrow morning, training maybe. session. Yes, tomorrow morning would be good. Uh, we shouldn't beat Tristan up too much before his important time. meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on, I hear Well, he, he can always heal himself now that he is so special. Oh yeah, um, that's true. You've got I'm like those like, touching powers. I do, I'm just gonna like, you know, the good old fashioned glowy hand sort of golden light. <laughs> Ill Ill illuminates the dining room. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. It's not bad. Alright, yeah. Yeah, yeah, give it to you. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and my sword glows Jesus. as well, actually. What? Yeah, oh. I've got a glowing sword. Yeah, I'll just uh, pull my uh, my blade out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Blade of the Demon Slayer. Blade of the Demon Slayer. Very good against fiends. This blade. It's just glowing with a nice oh, soft, yeah. like, golden glow. <laughs> What are you talking about now? Adam? My my blade. I'm not, gonna, my penis. I'm gonna... okay. It's <laughs> pulling sword. Well, yeah. The uh, evening continues on. You have, you have a, a nice, lovely catch up with your brothers, and uh, yeah, definitely feels good to be feel, feels really good to be home now that the whole family's back, apart from your father. Apart from you know my dad. Yeah, who is, yeah. Is a, de a definite. Um, you know, you, you're missing him at the table. Missing him at the end. There's of the... an empty chair at the front of the t at the top of the table. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, it's still good, good, good to be back. Um, the next day dawns, the day of the uh, the day of the part the party. Yeah. Cool. Let's get so, ready. Uh, yeah, unless there's anything thank else. You, thank you, Michael and Connor, for not ruining well. my brothers. Yes, you did very well. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't... I was like, I lost that points. I just started laughing at your points. I was like, oh shit, hold on, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Don't worry. If, if Ulfgar ever dies, you can always play. Like, if Ulfgar ever dies, you can always play Robert Waters. <laughs> no, oh, Connor's got his own brothers. So yeah, that's true. Got his own brothers, that's true. So. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Michael, there's your do, Michael. Uh, got some characters. Right, have up. you seen this boy? Whack, whack, give him some, scam some gear. I'm, I'm gonna get some bad gear for myself. I'm gonna give him this gear. Uh, Don't oh, worry. This that has totally reminded me. Uh, <laughs> ages ago, when Dalmir um, went with you guys to Waterdeep, we totally forgot about it for like sessions. Um, oh, so yeah, all Dalmere. that would have happened is he would have immediately. Yeah, asked, like, I, he would he would have immediately gone even... his own way. I was gonna say yeah, um, Dalmir. Yeah, like, I, I forgot that's, about that's, him. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he was gonna go his own way anyway. He was specifically going to look for. Um, a certain bakery um, where he was going to begin his search. Belda Wookney's bakery. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, Bella Bella Delphine. We'll get to we'll get to him another oh, day. Her name was Belle Daphne, but Mason it was... kept like getting lazy oh, yeah, and Bell... changed it to Belle Delphine again. Because Mason's a oh, meta gamer. I swear to God. Oh yeah, no, no, it was Bella. It, I know it was Be Bella, and it was probably Daphne. It, yeah, probably Bella Daphne. But then he yeah. just got lazy and just yeah. And then just started calling her Belle Delphine. <laughs> Belle Delphine. Yeah. Even... Which he made yeah. up that character on the spot and definitely just <laughs> said Bell Dolphine, and then I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> we're doing this. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, uh, you guys make your way to the high hall for the uh, the afternoon concert. Um, you see, there's lots of very fancy people, lots of very fancy clothes. Um, some of you who are very less, you, some of you feel a little out of place. Uh, Reed, Ulfgar, this you'd, you'd feel right at home here. Um, <clears throat> cool. Amongst the upper yeah, echelon of society, glancing around, uh, make a perception check. Just sort of whoever wants to. Yeah, I want to try and find this Grand Duke. Yeah, yeah, that's where that's where it was forced. Yeah, just oh. oh. make, make a check. Kill me. Uh, I'm gonna Dela, make a check. I just... acro across the crowd with his uh, awesome goggles on. Or eyes of the eagle. Oh my goodness! Um, I can imagine Dela walking into this party with his goggles on. <laughs> oh, goggles. 
Yeah, Dela walks around everywhere with his with his goggles. <laughs> on he is just the cool. He's the coolest driver yeah, that's, that's, ever lived. Don't don't mention that. That's totally We're changing my view of Dela. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not goggles, they're, they're, well, they're, you can see the picture of them. I just imagine them like, like they're swimming goggles. <laughs> no, no, they're not like that. You, you can see the picture of them if you go into the, the, the uh... water. <laughs> Where are they? Just blue. Uh, Dungeon Master's Guide. Oh, Eyes of the Eagle. Yeah, ma oh, yeah, yeah mag like magic items, wondrous <laughs> items, and go to Eyes of the Eagle. Um, <laughs> That's that's that that's what they look like. Obviously, he's got his hood on, which sort of covers okay, up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, hood up, um, like these sort of metallic. Uh, how does? Yeah, they're not they're not even goggles. I don't know what they are. They're, it's like a, it looks like a um like a, pretty a, cool, a, ma a mask from like a masked ball. Yeah, that's but it only covers like, the yeah. the very top half. Yeah, masquerade. Masquerade ball. I'm Dela. Uh, <laughs> but Dela, you do spot across the crowd. Um, a large group bearing the symbol of the flaming fist, and um, dressed slightly better than all the rest of them. You guys do see Grand Duke, who has now appeared on your screen. There he is. Ooh. He's a chunky oh, damn. He's got some thick shoulders. He is a, a hell of a boy. Um, you see, just from He's like tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's because his arm is massive. Um, he, he probably looks a little older than he does in this particular photo. Uh, he'd, be, he'd be more in his 50s, uh, but he still looks very, you know, in shape for his Formidable. age. Formidable. Um, you know, there's tension between Baldur's Gate and um, El Turel. Um No, he's not. He's, he's still not. The fuck off. <laughs> 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 Who did this? I will smite you! <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's uh, he still seems to garner a lot of respect, even from the Alterians. Um, so yeah, you're at, you are now at, at the gathering. Seems uh, to be the like way, I've just had a sudden thought. Um, this cult that we murdered probably wasn't completely destroyed, and this is an important peace gathering. So I'm thinking, it seems that they might try to sabotage it. Can I like keep an eye out for anyone looking a bit suspicious? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, make a perception check for me. I'll... I already did one, but do you want me oh, okay. to do one? Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep uh, keep tabs on that. Um, I'm going straight to the bar. <laughs> straight to the bar. <laughs> yeah. I will. Uh, I will wander over to where the Grand Duke is. Okay. Uh, so we'll do Ulfgar first. Uh, what are you doing at the bar? Anything in particular? I want to go. Up to the... I want to just go up to the uh, to the bartender and be like. Give me a, give me two pints of your finest craft beer. <laughs> oh, God's turned into a craft ale drinker. Oh no! That, that makes sense for a, for a dwarf. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, yeah, he pours you two pints. These are all on, on the house, of course. This is a very fancy event. Don't need to pay for any booze here. Oh, uh, give me four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he hands you four, and you just about manage to fit them all into your big, big dwarven hands. Um, by the way, you're, you're like, this is like sort of the pre this is, you're currently in the preamble before going in to see like an opera show, like a concert sort of thing. Um, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, what? Fete. Um, what? What'd you call me? Is it called, like a fete or fete? Why or has someone like? drawn a penis on Grand Yeah, I'm getting rid of that. It was in yellow, so who, yeah. who could that be? I don't know. I mean, you can change the colour, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, sorry, a fate. It's called a fate. Uh, Spell F E T E. And it's got an, and it's um, got an accent. First D has like a little arrow thingy above it. It's like a charitable event that's like a public function, you know? Yeah. So, well, this wouldn't like... quite be that, but. Oh, okay. It's an opera. It's an opera you can held hold, by like, L2L to host for like the, the, the visitors. Who have come from Baldur's Gate? Yeah, it can be that, but like the purpose of it is like for charity. It's like, not for end, charity. People, people, people <laughs> donate. People donate, and then that goes to a charitable cause. Is like, it going to be a wrestle for fate? Well? <laughs> it's not, <but> it's, <laughs> of course. It's peace talks, though. It's not a charitable thing. Oh, I want it to be. Well, good for you. All about stuff. charity. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, uh, Tristan, you make your way over to um, Grand Duke Alder Ravengard, who currently is 
uh, speaking with a few um, delegates. So how do you do? What do you do as you sort of approach? I just, I'll just see him talking, and I'll just, I'll just wait patiently. Mm -hmm. You know, stand hands behind my back, sort of military style. The uh, the con conversation continues on for a little while and doesn't doesn't stop. Um, they just seem to be generally talking about like you know how's business here, how's business there. Um, well, if that's the you case, do I... pick. Oh, oh yeah, what are you, what are you no, gonna no, say? No, you keep going. Uh, you do pick up in conversation. Um, one of them says, "Sort of, um, uh, thank you again for um, everything you've done for El Torel." One of the like El Torel delegates is saying to Alder Raven Guard, um, and that, that that's all you pick up. But you you know you know he's he's done something and has earned some sort of um, reputation amongst the El Torel people for being better than what they assume most Baldur's Gate people are like. Um, yeah. But eventually, you are all summoned into the concert hall. Um, to watch the performance um sang because you were on lockout uh, are you still going in or are you um um yeah but um actually can i kind of sneak backstage you want to sneak backstage yeah sure uh make us a general stealth check can i do the same do i see him do this uh uh and uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Make a perception check against uh, Sang's uh, stealth. It's 22. Um, no, you do, not, you do not. So you, I guess you would just file in to the room. We don't... Uh, oh, it's too late now. I don't want to meta. <laughs> okay. Um, so your suspicions uh, cloud your judgment. <laughs> you, uh, you do manage it's, to... It's not because of you. I would just like to go off and do my own thing. But well, if, yeah, if you, if you you know if you want to just go off and do your own thing anyway, then that's. And I'd be like, accidentally like, oh no, um, I really need a piss before going in, and then go looking mm -hmm. at the toilet, and then decide to have a wander around. Sure. So, uh, we'll do sand first. Uh, anything in particular you're looking for as you go backstage? You see, it's it's uh it's it's like an opera, so it's mostly musicians that are backstage, um, but with a few performers who are going to be on stage. Going to be on the front. I guess I'm just looking for like if there's any people like wandering around doing anything suspicious. Okay, uh, don't make look a. Like they should be there. Make a perception check and make an insight check. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you get a good look around backstage, um, really, really prying into everybody with your gaze, uh, but nobody, nobody seems. Um, nobody seems, you know, people are nervous because they're about to perform in front of a group, uh, but nobody, nobody seems. Like they're gonna like I don't know. Nobody seems evil. Okay. Anything you are. That's cool then. Uh, Reed, where are you sort of going? What are you doing? Um. Well, I went for a little tinkle. Um. <laughs> you want me to do the sound effect? Nope. All right. Uh, <laughs> wash my hands and then <laughs> go back out. And then I'm like, you know what? This place all looks rather interesting. I'm gonna have a little wander around. See if I can find anything of interest and um, uh, yeah, just sort of go for a, a wander around the halls and see if anybody's there and and listening on what they're saying. Okay. I'll turn invisible as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, make an investigation check and a stealth check with advantage. Okay. <clears throat> investigation and then stealth. Stealthy stealth. Oh wow, I'm not good. Oh, I don't my top yeah. hat. <laughs> <laughs> the top hat's visible. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it's not. But uh, yeah, you are. Uh, you have a good look around. Um, again, don't necessarily find anything out of the ordinary. You do hear some noises coming from one of the side rooms. Yeah, you do. You do hear um, some like sort of shuffling and bumping noises coming from one of the rooms. Sounds good. to that. I'll go to that one. Then. It oh. is uh, it is locked. As you try the door, um, can I hear people on the other side? Yeah, just sort of sounds like there's a bit of a ruckus going. Um, ooh. what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Um, Someone might be banging. Yeah. That'd be really <laughs> cool. I'm I'm just like, that, like, what's that mysterious noise behind the door? I just pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, and then throw a bomb at them. 
them run. Worth every penny. Die infidels. <laughs> but, um, I'll um. I don't really know. Is that? Can I have a little look around and see if there's another entrance way? Or like a uh, window? Seems like that's the only way. So you guys are currently um, in a very high chamber of the high hall as well. You've gone up like several flights, and you are like in sort of the the, the top the top areas right now. Um, okay. Uh, can I look under the door or through a keyhole? Uh, make a perception check looking through the keyhole. Oh fuck! Uh, it's pretty dark inside, and whatever is going on, you can't quite see it from that vantage point. Um. Okay. So it sounds like there's a, a fair few bangs and knocks going around. A little, yeah. All right. Something's going on in there. Uh. It's, 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 um. All right. I'll. I'll knock on the door. Knock, knock. Uh, you hear, oh shit, shit, and you hear people quickly putting their clothes back on. Uh... <laughs> was, was definitely two people back on. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, I so wish you, like, teleported in there somehow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it would have been funny. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's a good thing Rogar's not there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then, if they're just banging, then I'll leave it. I'll head back to the group. I'll do it. Well, I'll wander around for a bit if that's okay. I'll just carry on yeah. wandering. We'll say you're, you're wandering around for a bit. Uh, the rest I'm of you, fine. so this would be Dela, Tristan, and Ulfgar. Uh, you guys are enjoying the performance, so let me just change the music real quick. Can't wait. I've been waiting for opera for a while. <laughs> Can you do a demonstration? <laughs> they do say I have a voice of an angel. Uh, I'd give a standing ovation to that. Yes. I wanna oh. I wanna stand I wanna stand and applaud as a as a tear run downs <laughs> of Cast yeah. Face. You wanna do a Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> Just clap him. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is at the end. Just, 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 I'm longer than everyone else. Everyone <laughs> else has stopped. Don't stop. As three of you are enjoying enjoying this wonderful concert, um, get sort of uh, five or six um, songs in. Uh, you're completely enthralled by the the story, by the way, which seems like a very traditional Romeo Juliet tragedy, and you can you can see where it's going. Um, but a an aide comes up to your aisle, um, about five or six songs in, and uh, taps on your sh uh, shoulder. Tristan says, uh, uh, "The Grand Duke would like to speak to you now, if you're available." Okay, I'll nod and I'll uh, mm -hmm. I'll follow the aide. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're led up to. Do like... I... Mm -hmm. do, do I see? Do I see this? Yeah, yeah. You'd be sat like right next to him. Can I? Am I following though? Are we allowed to come or? I mean, only Tristan's been asked. This. If, you, if you want to follow, you can follow. Nah, fuck that. Like, fair play. Whatever. That's fine. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, like, Ulfgar's a bit annoyed they didn't get asked. He's like, he's gonna sit back and see. He's like, fucking. Yeah, I think Ulfgar. Tristan knows this cool shit. Anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. Ulfgar's like, I'm loving this. I'm like, like loving Whatever's the, going that's on over there, it's not like, worth it. The only reason I'm saying is the music. Like I could, I could go and follow him. Like it would be like a cool little fun thing to do. Probably get caught, probably fuck things up, but who cares? Like hey, it's fun. You should I'm just really Tristan enjoying the music. Like, Tristan, Tristan, you're missing out. I, You've got to stay and watch I, this. I walk with the aid. <laughs> like Tristan, bro. Like you're missing this. You're gonna miss like. It's, it's the not best really. Part. My, it's not really my like, thing. It's, the, the finale's coming. It's, gonna, it's, it's, it's not my thing. You Tristan, enjoy. I'll, I'll bro, go bro. Seriously, no. No. no, no nope. I'll see you later, Wolfgar. Bye. Nope, bye, we've got. Enjoy. Yep. Trick you, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the performers have stopped now. They just want. I turn the day light. No, no, no. This is a this is a big hall. This is just a very small, small, small moment right. of it. Yeah. Uh, 
so yeah, Tristan, you are led up to um, Alder Raven Guard's box. Um, and you can see, like, someone else leaves as you enter. So he's, like, he's clearly been speaking to a few people. Yeah. Um, ah, perfect timing. The song ends. Everybody claps. Oh, um, perfect, perfect. So, Tristan, you enter? Yeah, what I enter. Yeah. What, do you, what do you do, Slash Day? Well, well I, I, I bow. No. He's yeah. He's currently got like his hands behind his back, stood in a very um, soldier-like manner, um, overlooking the performance, and he just sort of gestures with his head for you to like come up and stand beside him. Yeah. What do I feel like Anakin and Palpatine in Episode Three? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the tragedy? <laughs> um, but yeah, he says, uh, "Tristan Waters, right?" That's correct, sir. I've uh, been hearing some good things about you and your company. You slew a Death Knight. Uh, we did, yes. And just recently, I hear you took out a... eliminated a cult or something? Really, yes, a cult of Bane, beneath one of the taverns in the city. Hmm. Well, me and my associates are currently investigating the attacks across the coast by these Death Knights. And I just wanted to speak to you as the leader of your company, and ask if you had any theories as to what's going on, what they might be planning. Um, if there's anything you can tell me that might aid in my search. Um, <clears throat> well, after we, uh, after we slew the Death Knight at the Battle of Fort Harrowdown, we went north, um, followed the Orcs back to their main base, uh, slew their high command and took their, their general captive, and he just gave us information that the uh, Death Knights, the Death Knight who was with the Orcs, had no set plan of his own. None of the attacks were of his instigation. He just supported the Orcs in their campaign and provided them with tools to further sow chaos in in the North. Um, Hi. It uh, seems that way in all of these instances. They didn't ask for anything in return. They simply said, "We will help you." Yes. And that is, that is it. Um, so, I guess, um, do you and your company have any theories as to what might be going on? Pure we, pure spe speculation, of course. Well, one would assume that the Shadow King is looking at to throw the mortal plane into chaos at some, for some sort of gain of his. Maybe there's artifacts or something, or he wishes to control the domain himself. I, I don't know. Um, we have a researcher in the north currently going through some texts and various other things, so hopefully he'll come up with something in the next couple of weeks. I have my own researchers who have been looking into this for some time now, and have not been able to come up with anything concrete. I doubt your friend will fare any better. I'll shrug and just say, will we work with what we have? Right now, we're we are purely working on speculation. We have to assume we don't have any facts um i would say something about where the name of the place that samular is recuperating at but i can't remember off the top of my head unlucky should have written it down i know anyone else no no cool. No, they're not here no. <laughs> um he says uh do you uh do you know who i am by the way the name is familiar um, you'll have to forgive me, I don't know the specifics. When this city was ripped from this plane and taken into the Nine Hells, I happened to be there at the time. Purely just there on business. Wrong place, wrong time. That was a tough month. Most people died, but I did what I could to rally those that could survive. Many here claim that I saved this city. I was the one who led the rebellion from the Nine Hells. I just feel like it might have something to do with it. Hmm. I mean, it wouldn't be out of the realms of possibility, uh, but across the whole coast, Alter was simply one city that was taken. The rest were not. True. It's uh, it's there been an odd few months. I've been garnering as much support for an alliance as I can but the people of your city still seem to hate those of Baldur's Gate 
Well, if there's one thing that binds people together, it's a common foe. Uh, my family knows that more than anyone. Um, a common foe is good, but a leader, someone who can unite, that's, that's what I've found to be more important. Well, um, a lot of people have been looking to me recently as some kind of hope, some savior. Well, I don't have any answers. That's why I'm asking anyone who might know anything. Um, well, one thing that we we do have is our researcher has um, we do have a name of the place where this death knight is uh, recuperating. We don't know how to get there. We don't know which plane of existence it's in. But he's researching that. Um, well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Yes, the name's Stone Spire, <laughs> but I don't suppose you've probably never heard of that. Stone Spire. He, like, thinks to himself, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll have my aides look into it. Thank you. Yes. Um, other than that, I, I don't know what the attacks were like down at Baldur's Gate with the gnolls, but the orcs were hunting after artifacts in another plane as well. I don't know if... That's, I don't know, gnolls are... Not as organized as the orcs, but hmm. something is. Uh... It is something to consider. Ain't. And ain't. Um, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the north, but Neverwinter and Luskan have been eyeing <clears throat> each other up. Um... They have a similar feud to our own. Not to this extent, though. Uh, they've cut yeah. away to the north. Exactly. This is what's troubling. Is they've always they've always had their their disagreements. Those two cities, but war is far beyond anything that should be reasonable. Yes. Um. So we don't know. Something is at foot, and we're investigating. But the more people who are investigating into it, the more chance we have at stopping them. Uh, this threatens everything that we all hold dear on the coast. So to work together is for everyone's benefit and for us to unite behind a common banner against this threat to all of our Tristan, interests. make a perception check. A perception check? Yep. Oh, shit. Ooh. 16. Uh, you hear a slight noise behind you. You turn around, there's a dagger coming straight for you. Alright, I'll raise... I, I, I guess I'll block it with my, my arm? Like, yep, you just... Armor. Bam! Immediately raise your arm. I'll, I'll draw my sword. Uh, Alder swing, swings round, draws his sword. Both of you roll initiative. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Battle music, Alder's please. trying to kill Tristan? No, no. Um, some blokes are. Battle music, please. Uh, no. Concert music oh, still concert playing. Oh, concert music. Alright, <laughs> let me turn it up a little bit. So, attack against you, Tristan. Because uh, this is still going to be an attack that is, is made. Yep. Oh, wow, of course. Okay. Wow. Uh, make, make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Alright, is this a poison? It is poison. I've got my dwarf thing. Which gives uh, you resistance, resistance to poison damage, but not... Oh, is it just resistance? Okay, yeah. The advantage on saving throws against poison. They're really That's evil, right? So you'd essentially take a quarter damage on uh, the 29. Yep. What's, what's a quarter of 30, essentially? Sure. Seven, rounded down. Seven, yeah. So, so you take, take 7 plus, plus 10 for the regular damage. So I take 17 damage. Yep. Uh, I then also need them to roll initiative. 12. What's the thing he's initiative? Yeah, hold on. Get uh, him up. 12 as well. Uh, so they go, they go before. Uh, Sang. Yes. As you were wandering around, uh, you bump into an invisible person. And it is Reed. Oh, you don't, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't know that. <laughs> See, do I know him? I'm gonna grab hold of them. Yeah, yeah. It's like as you're like oh literally, God. as you're like coming around a corner, you like bump into him. I have to grab hold of him. Can I go? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you're still invisible, by the way. Yeah. Who are you? I'm like, ciao, it's me, you fool. It's 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 Reed. You know oh. Reed. What are you doing here? I was. I was doing a piss and then I was creeping on this couple that were like having sex <laughs> unintentionally. I swear, I just sort of walked in. I thought they were doing some dodgy shit, but it turns out they were just getting a uh, rough and ready in the uh, in the bedroom. You know what I mean? That sounds really creepy, but it seems like well, they I had didn't the mean same it. Idea. It was accidental. 
What? What? What was your idea? Well, uh, I was looking around for suspicious people because I figured Same. maybe that cult will try and disrupt these peace talks or something. As you as you say this, you hear like a clang, like metal on metal, nearby. That doesn't That's sound nice. like sex. Let's go Let's see go it. And investigate. <laughs> Both of you roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Okay. Seven. Bad. Get ready for the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> We're using it already. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, is at the top of the round, the assassins' turns. They're going to... One, go, one is going in on Tristan. Three going in on Alder. Uh, do the boy against Tristan first. Oh, um... Actually, yeah, that's, that, that's fine. Uh, oh, wait, no, yeah, Tristan, uh, you would have taken... Does this work? Uh, um, I can just imagine scene cuts from, like, the action. Another 13, another 13 damage. Okay. I can imagine uh, there's, like, cut scenes from the action happening at the thing, and then back to Ulfgar and join the performance. <laughs> like, crying. Yeah, I sh <laughs> sheds a single off. tear. The, ca the, the, yeah. the, ca the camera just pans up to the box, and you just hear flashes of light of my divine smite, and Ulfgar's just, like, watching the thing. Uh, I, I, I want to look around after, like, I'm just... Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get to, to you and Dela in a second. Um, but I want to give the people that stayed back uh, a bit of a I do want to look, I want to look around and be like, where, where the fuck is everyone going? And then I just want to be like, you know what? No, I'm just, I'm just in the zone. Yeah, yeah, you do need to make another save. Uh, also, because you haven't had a turn in the round yet, this is a nat 20. So it's, it's, it's counting as a critical hit. No. So you, again, take only a quarter damage of the poison. So that would be 16 down to 8 down to 4, and then 10, so 14 total. Jesus Christ. Um... The attacks against poor old Alder. Oh, Jesus Christ! Isn't that blasphemy? Don't you support Tom? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, so that was out. That was out, out of character. Tom Christ! By Tom. Oh fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> uh, one one hits for whatever double. So forty eight plus ten, fifty eight damage to Jeez. Alder. Uh, as a only one of these strikes hits is a good job you rolled high on your perception check otherwise you guys were getting straight up stabbed in the back yeah um so attacks made against you guys alder is is wearing heavy armor so a lot of his attacks are blocked but a single stab gets in and does severe damage to him uh it is now his turn uh thing wants to work he's going to um strike strike both miss Damn. the assassins uh just dodge out of the way uh your turn tristan I attack the guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use Divine Smite on this. Okay. Oh, um, a quick, quick description as well. All of these guys are wearing um, white masks, but like black robes. So the cultists. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, yeah, you do see the hand of um, no, the yeah, it's the hand of Bane on uh, on one of them. Do I smell Bane. evil? Um. I think it's an action or something to do. Oh, never mind. Sense. Okay, that's fine. Um, Alright, I attack. Uh, yeah. Make your attacks. <laughs> Definitely hits. Uh, did that include my Divine Smite? Yes, it did. Cool. Um, second strike. Yep, second strike. So that's two Divine Smites used. Okay, this guy's looking kind of hurt. Uh, um, read. I guess, what, what are you doing? Yeah, no, I was are just we... going to uh, drink a help. Sorry. I was going to drink a healing potion. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Uh, 44, isn't it? Cool. Uh, read and Sang, you guys turn the corner and look down a hallway, and you can see seven guards who have, like, clearly had their throats slit, just lying dead along, along the corridor. Oh, no. That's... That sounds like What's that looks like one hell of a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like our yeah. suspicions were correct. Yeah. Hast hastily making your way to the door, um, you guys do manage to get to here. Uh, read your up. Sang, okay. te technically I there didn't yet? Even but... know we were we were on the the screen. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive map. I couldn't find anything better, unfortunately. How did he get there? Uh, it's, it's all good. I'm fast, mate. I'm nimble. 
Reed just rolled higher on the initiative, so he got there first. Yeah, sorry. You would have been right behind Logically, him. Logically, that doesn't make any sense, though. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> hey. Nah, no, I'm more fast, mate. <laughs> I literally have double your movement speed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to thunder wave these, these fucks. Okay. Without trying to kill um, uh, Alder. Yeah, so if you're going to go for these three, then you want to stand right there. So yeah, cast under wave at wherever level you want to cast out. Because <clears throat> uh, I like this older, I'm going to go level 7. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, it's uh, deck saves, right? Uh, yes. So, constitution. Are you sure? Let's take a... Well, roll the, roll the damage, because it, it will come up then anyway. You don't trust me. Uh, that's why we've done decks in the past. Or a strength or something. Okay, one succeeds. God damn. Uh, so the, how far back are they pushed? 15 feet. 10, 15. Oh, this guy's just clinging on. Uh, this guy would not move because he'd run straight into thingy and the other guy succeeded on the save but that is uh, 34 damage Die failed now <laughs> Ayla are you crying during the performance yeah I guess <laughs> but you can't tell because of my goggles <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're just filled up with water yeah I was gonna say they've got like little windscreen wipers yeah yeah <laughs> Um, Wolfgar's just in like hysterics, like his beard is soaked with just tears, just tears. <laughs> As the fight's going on above you, um, this uh, can I? I'm, I'm gonna. Can I? Can I notice it? Can I? It's like not do I fall out of like the enchantment of the performance? Not yet. Mm. The sound of the performance is co covering up a lot of it at like the moment. Fair <laughs> play. Uh, Fair play. It will. It will come around to you guys, but yeah, I gotta give the people that made the effort to not It's still my girl, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, I'll message Dela. Um, you can't, it's an action. What about sending? An action. Fucking hell. Well, surely a thunder wave would be a really loud noise. Good point. Wake up the, uh, wake up Dela the Orfga make perception checks. Okay. It's like, it's okay, a loud noise. <laughs> it, uh, but that's the thing, the concert would be very loud. As well, so you would still have to hear it over the din. Uh, Daylight, you hear it. Uh, Ulfgar, make a perception check. Yeah, you you guys do both hear it, and if everyone, a few people around you hear it. Uh, you can't see anything from where you are currently, though. You do hear a noise up above, though. And it, I guess you'd be familiar enough with Reed's Thunderwave to know that it's probably. <laughs> yeah, I guess that I'll sounds like Reed's Thunderwave. Like like run up. Mm -hmm. My Thunderwave at the start goes. <laughs> I don't think it does. Yeah. Like, uh, that sounded like a level seven thunder wave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything um, else? I'll, uh, read. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll start running up. I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Daylight Wolf can make uh, initiative rolls for me. I'll do a healing word on um, uh, Alder. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, yep. So that'd be a second level or first level. I'll do a level two. Level two. Uh, Sang, what did you roll? Uh, For initiative. Seven. Seven. Ooh, wow, he gets a nine. Pretty good. Nine. Nine. That's... Okay. Not too bad. He's still looking hurt, but, uh, yeah. Has been done. Uh, it's now their turn. This guy's gonna come up behind Alder. Oh. And stabby stabby. Advantage, advantage. Uh, oh, let me double check his. Uh... Okay, so two more, both with advantage as well. So still only two hits. Yes. Um, so that's sixty-nine total. Yeah. Damn, that was fucking quick. Sean has every like calculation for sixty-nine memorized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, uh, all, Alder's down. So yeah, Alder gets stabbed in the back, stabbed in the front, goes down in front of your eyes. Uh, oh, no. This other guy is going to move up and do the same to Friston. Piss off. 
Uh, he's gonna go. So we're talking advantagey, 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 advantage. Shit. So three hits. Four attacks. I'm pretty good. <laughs> but there's two of them attacking. Oh, you, so they have two attacks them. each. Um, these guys have a high bonus, so yeah, they're not. They ain't. You're running. You're running the mill goon. Yeah. Uh, so again, we're talking quarter damage. Oh, wait, you still have to make three different Constitution saving throws. Oh no. Uh, so fail. Success. Success. Uh, we know the first one's on advantage, so 16. Because of my belt. Why? My belt oh. gives me advantage on poison saving throws. Okay. In that case, it's only quarter caught, caught damage on all of those poisons. Uh, but you still take the regular 12, 21, 21 regular damage. Right. Plus uh, 7, 14, 20, plus 20 poison. 20 poison damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, being... so 40 damage total. By Torm, I'm being battered. Uh, it's Alder's turn, so he makes a death save. Uh, then uh, it, he sees. Uh, so yeah, we'll just say he's dying. <laughs> uh, Tristan, your turn. Um, okay, I have four charges. Right, what can I do with four charges? <laughs> you would have um, had maybe some more back. You've spent two days since the last... Um, Encounter. All right, so I've got five then. Uh, Dela, you're up next, but you'll just spend your turn moving. So How high is the. Uh... Oh, okay. Um, probably thirty feet up. All right, uh, Patrick. I'm gonna use my whirling ability thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's it? Constant flux. That's the one. Oh. Yep. So I'm gonna. That's all my charges. Um, but I'm gonna roll to attack. Which one? Uh, the one, in, the one I've attacked first. Yep. So that hits. Yep. And then that's an additional. What is that? Plus one d10 damage. Yep. Seven. Okay. And then I spin to attack the next one. Yep, the guy behind you. This is my... 21. Hits. Roll 2d10. 15. Okay. Yep. Done. Which one's looking weaker? Uh, definitely the guy in front of you. Definitely the guy in front of me. Okay. I attack him again. Uh, you can't target the same target. With this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. This is ended. Oh, wait, no. I can move up to 10 feet. So that's two. Yeah, squares, so you could right? attack the other two. Yeah. Yeah. So I I, I do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I attack this one here. Yep. Uh, misses. Miss. Okay. Right. Well, that's the end of that action then. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going to use my second attack. Mm -hmm. On the same guy. That hits. Uh, hits. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then, as a bonus action, can I use a, a healing potion to stabilize thingy? No, it's an action when you're using it oh, on someone else. Oh, okay, right. Damn. How many turns has he got? Two? You don't know. Oh, okay. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, well, Sang, you're, you're up next. Wait, wait, well, wait, 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 I, I this... need to take a chug, please. Oh, you're chugging yourself? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm okay. 40 HP. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I, I'm gonna, but... I'm gonna chug another... Uh, I shouldn't have given off all those potions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I can heal myself, guys. Mm -hmm. Guys, I I'm think on it's my time way. for the bomb. I'm on my way. Right, Top out board. Please, no. All right, plus, pl plus four, so 15. 15. Cool. Uh, Daylight, your turn. Wait, is it uh, not my turn? No, it's Daylight's. I'm before you. Oh, wait, what? Oh, How does he go before Dale's me? He hasn't had any goals. Right. Well, we rolled an issue last time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I want to move here and then I want to misty step off into like grab onto the ledge. Mm -hmm. That's your misty step done. You do manage to like just cling onto the very bottom. Uh, and okay. I guess and you could bonus action move again to clamber up. Well, misty step is a bonus action. Oh, I guess you did an act. Well, fine, action to. Uh, to... Uh, well, no, I, I just want to stay hanging and like peep over the top. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you peep over the top. You can see from your current vantage point, you wouldn't actually see Reed or Sang. You'd see Alder down and Tristan surrounded by four dudes. Okay, I want to shimmy along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd move at half speed. 
Oh, okay. You'll shimmy. Uh, but you can you can shimmy along. Uh, there. Cool. What are you? Uh, that's everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sang, now you're up. All right. This one's looking really weak, by the way. They've all been hit. They've all been hurt because of um, stabs and thunder wave. Uh, unfortunately, Ulfgar, I think you're gonna miss this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're right, it... really. <laughs> gonna yeah. go. Yeah. Well, so I, get am I not fast enough? No. Daylight only got there because he can yeah. teleport. <laughs> I understand. So unless you've got any, like, worried, any more the... any more flying potions, you're you're not gonna get there. Oh, yeah. I have a flying. I think I have a flying potion. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, okay, I'm so I'm checking. You I'm, checking. First. I'm checking. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to use. I do, I have action. one flying potion. Okay. Bonus action and sacrifice. Hmm. Let's do so can, I, can I fly up then? 40 HP. Yeah, if you want to use, use the potion. Um, yeah. I'll pop a flying potion. You sacrifice 40 health? Yeah, why not? Go for it, yeah. Big boy. And then. So uh, wait, do I still yeah. have temporary hit points or do they disappear after? They disappear. Okay. They they last for like a minute, so. Okay, so then this guy in front of me, then I'll oh, take Hero's it. Beast last. Hero's Beast last a day, but you guys haven't Hero's Beast in a few days. Oh, wait, I have a new spell. No. No. Oh, it's 31 damage. Okay. Still Is he still alive? Yep. Hits. He's still alive. Oh, no, wait. With, with your bonus, he. Yeah, he. Nice. And that's an extra 16 temporary hit points for me. Slash. And then I'll move back here. Mm -hmm. And then that's my turn because I used <clears> my <throat> bonus action already. Okay. Um, it would now be off Girls Go, but you'd spend your turn running for the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, actually no. Do you, you want to pop your I'm potion? Not... You might yeah, not need to. I was... But sure, if you I want, want to. I want to pop. Ah, uh, there's no need to have a pocket. No. I mean, I mean, what would you do in this scenario? Watch the show. What would you actually do? <laughs> so you've heard it. You've all you, you've heard oh, of really, yeah, you, you, you've heard of thunder wave up top, and just like, and, and daylight. You've seen daylight De De teleport up to, onto the, the balcony. I'll probably run. Okay, you'd run for the stairs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Reed, okay. top of the round. Your turn. All right. Let's do it. Healing word. Level six. Alder. Ooh, big. Healing word, I will heal you, my my bro. I mean, I don't know you, but I feel like you're important. What he's on? I get a distinct feeling. You mean something. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Cool, cool. Alda like... is alive. Ah. And uh, you've still got your action if you want to do anything with that. Oh, I always think it's an action if it's above level two. Nope. Um. It just means that if you want to cast another spell, it can only be level 2 or lower. Yeah. I'll go for a... Uh... Has Alda got up yet? I mean, he's he's alive, his eyes are open, he's still on the floor. I was going to say, can I go but... for that guy straight? Uh, like, with, like, with, like, what, with a crossbow? Two crossbow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll go for two crossbow shots on it. Shots fired. Uh, hits. God damn. Damn. Uh, with that nat 20, he will uh, take one bolt and sort of stagger back, take another bolt, fall fall over the top, crash, nice. crash crashing down upon the, the audience below. You hear a few gasps. Uh, I guess, any movement? Um, I'll, I'll head closer to Alda. Two. Cool. Uh, it's now their turns. Um, the, they are both going to try and run. So, uh, Sang, you get you can attack opportunity the first one or the second one. Uh, do the um, the first one. He's more hurt, isn't he? Okay. Yep. He is more hurt. Mm, there it is. Definitely hits. Yeah. And with your with your bonus, he is definitely yeah. dead. But as you sort of spend time slicing him, this guy runs. Oh, runs, guys! Runs past. I know. I know it's too late, but. Just before I fired the crossbows, can I just shout "Shows over"? <laughs> can we, can we you, 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 you shout "Shows over" as the guy runs past, saying, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm way, like, he, oh, I didn't think quick enough. He, shit. he runs straight into the corridor. We're now in chase mode. Um, so Can I catch him because I'm just faster than everyone. You are. You are faster. <laughs> as you, as you are clearly gaining on him, he uh, runs at the window and dives straight through it. You guys I'm are like hundreds of feet. Through it. You're hundreds of feet in the air, by the way. I have a, a falling thing, don't I? Yeah, but it doesn't. It reduces the damage that you take from falling damage, but it doesn't mean you take no damage. And you what are hundred, I, hundreds of feet of, in the air. What if I use Step of the Wind? Does that work? Uh, I don't think so. Let me let me check. I think you should just go for it. I mean, <laughs> you might it. die. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> legit. Uh, where's Where the fall it? damage? I'm not sure. It was somewhere. It's called slow. It's called slow fall. I'll dive after him. Reed can dive after him, um, yeah. but Reed's too too slow, I guess. Or I definitely have something for. Him. Excuse me, I just made a shower and a race. Wait, I have corridor. the ability to just move along vertical surfaces. Can I just run down the wall? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do that. I can't just do that. I will allow that. Um, can I also go after him? I, I, uh, I... Yes, so Reed, you sort of come to the window. You've seen this guy jump out. You've seen, you watch see Sang just literally sprinting down the wall <laughs> after, after this guy. And this guy's just, fought... again, this is hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air. The city below you looks like, you know, small. What, what are you doing, Reed? Um, well, I can teleport up to five hundred feet. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to dimension door onto his back and like try and choke him. Mid air. Out. Oh, oh, he's landed. Yeah, I think no, he no, landed. he's he's still falling. In that case, moment. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do uh, Obi Wan or no, an Anakin and just throw out, uh, just dive out as well. Okay, both of you leaping out the window after him. I'm just, gonna, uh, I'm just gonna fly past the gel, like. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Sang would still be running pretty quick, to be fair, because yeah, you, yeah, but still, you're all there's now three people yeah. plummeting I'm out of the window. I'm stabilizing the Grand Duke. Yeah, he sort of gets up, like clutches his like his his wound where he's I'll, been stabbed. I'll, I'll put on some like I'll give him thirty lay on hands. Yeah, he he takes the thirty lay on hands and like feels very relieved. Says. Thank you. I thought the poison would uh, finish me off. Uh, Dela, <laughs> I guess at this point you f hop up onto the balcony. I'll, I'll, I'll hear. Do I hear him? Oh, where they all gone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I, do I hear Dela seeing as I'm focusing on Ula? Uh, it depends if Dela wants you to hear him or not. Um. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, no, I'm not gonna like purposely let him hear me. Okay, so no, you don't hear Dela. Dela would just creep up onto there like a cat. Okay. That's it. Um, cutting back, <laughs> cutting, right. cutting back to the people falling. Um, <laughs> this guy looks like he's about to hit the deck um, before teleporting Misty Step onto the rooftops and begins running away along the roofs. I right. use Step of the Wind to jump onto the rooftops as well. Um, sure. Even Just with like Step of the Wind. The wall. Oh, uh, even with because it's there's still a. Do I see any of this happen? No, no, you're still making your way up there. <laughs> Unfortunately, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connor. You have been cooked on this one. Um, but uh, yeah. make make an acrobatics check, Sank. Nice, I'm good at those. <laughs> uh, Twenty, yeah. So you're sprinting down the wall. You like kick off it, do like a few flips through the air, uh, land on the rooftop, and give chase. Uh, Reed, what are you doing? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna see him teleport f from falling distance, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna. Do I see where he lands? Yeah, yeah. Where he only goes. teleported a short distance onto the. Uh, you re you recognize it more as a misty step than a than dimension well, door. And do I see uh, Zhao? Uh, yeah, yeah. You would see, you would see Sang follow after him. Okay. Well, I'm also gonna wherever he's he's ended up. I'm gonna dimension door onto his back and i'm trying to gonna try and choke him out okay make an athletics check oh sugar honey iced tea they're not very good at this either fuck not one it gets re uh, it's it's the re-roll would be 11 but they still rolled a, a natural 18 they had plus zero so they rolled uh just strong so you you do teleport onto the back grab them and they just quickly fling you off um oh. and they are way quicker than you as well 
quickly break off. Uh, Sang, you are still pretty quick yourself. What is your speed? 50. 50. So that would be 100 at a dash. They move 120. So you could step of the wind to catch up with them. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. You step of the wind. Sprint with unnatural speed uh, across the roof rooftops. You uh, like do hop over, hop over a gap at one point. Um, but as you get up to them, what do you want to do? Uh, can I like cut his leg with my sword? Go for a go for a, a swipe. Fourteen misses, uh, but you do get a second strike. No. Fifteen <laughs> just fifteen just hits. Yeah. Rogal's just left. You should have left. Plus, I still plus, be here. Yeah, plus, plus your plus your bonus. Oh, I'll go. I'm sorry. Uh, how do you want to do this? This is important. How do you want to do this? Well, I'm not cutting him. Yeah, you're just, just cutting to, his like, leg. Cut his leg so that he falls to the ground. Okay, he definitely then... does. As you cut the back of his leg, he just stumbles, flies across the rooftops. Ugh! And I'll put my foot on his chest and my sword at his throat. And I keep still if you want to live. He looks like he's he's gonna reach for his dagger, but then his arms just sort of fall limp as he just loses consciousness. Nice. Can I catch up? Uh, yeah, this at this point Reed catches up. Uh, you see Sanger's uh, detained the the boy. Nice. I'll I'll tie him up as well. Good idea. Nice. And uh, put, yeah, I'll I'll put a top hat on him. <laughs> <laughs> so if it goes out of line, boom. Yeah, let's pull it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, well, I guess we'll have like... you you you've just got to the top now. Like, what's happening? You don't know what's going uh, on. No. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be like, guys, you just missed out on the best show of your life. Yeah. So these these three would have been a, mi a mile away. But uh, Dela, Dela, you, you would see Dela like looking out the window. Dela, with your keen eyesight, you would perceive even far far away that Sang and Reed have caught the caught the bag. Oh, Sang and Reed look like they've got everything handled. Yeah, as Ulfgar's like panting as he's just got up the stairs. <laughs> uh, the dwarves are wasted over long distance. <laughs> stairs! <laughs> My one weakness! Uh, My one weakness. So yeah, we will, we'll pick this up next session as you detain the boy. Good thinking, Sang, on the fact yeah. that you probably didn't destroy all the cultists, because yeah. nobody, nobody made any effort <laughs> to try and think. Uh, hey, first. I was a bit, you know... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, good good thinking. That that fight could have gone very poorly if Sang and Reed had not yep. been there. I would have gone because uh, because they did they 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 do damage. <laughs> like, yes, they are they. They almost... downed Ulf, Ul, Ul, Alder in two turns. He had uh he had 112 hit points and he got down in two turns. Um, and like so, yeah. if I didn't have that belt, I would have died. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. Me and Sang had another little uh had a our own little thing. Yeah, not yeah, quite, not, not maybe not quite trustworthy, but uh... <laughs> yeah, on the way, other, on the way, we, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, I, we can rely on each other. You impressed with my bad guy catching abilities? Yeah, that was, that was next level. Was, was was pretty. You literally <laughs> sprinted like hundreds of feet down a wall and then kicked off it onto onto a rooftop. Pretty sick.